You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. It's Thursday, the 26th day of February 2015. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Another incredibly jam-packed transmission lined up for you as the world accelerates into destabilization by design. Saudi Arabia says it might help Israel attack Iranian nuclear sites. Unbelievable headline. It's official. NSA spying is hurting the U.S. tech economy. That's a ZDNet News. Former FBI assistant director says to help keep budgets high, we must, quote, keep fear alive. The comments come one hour, six minutes into the video. Full body transplants will be possible within two years, says controversial surgeon. Obama tells ICE officers, that's Border Patrol, consequences for ICE officials who don't follow executive amnesty. You follow my illegal orders not to stop drunk drivers, to let illegals go free, let them be above the law, or I will have your butt fired and I will grab your pension. So you can't sit there, because I see people on these videos bashing the Border Patrol. Well, why don't you do your job? Why don't you arrest some people? Why don't you? They've been ordered to stand down. Now, quite frankly, they're complicit when they follow the orders and are somewhat guilty. But in the scheme of being guilty, Obama and the globalists are 100 percent. They're about 5 percent guilty. We're more guilty than the Border Patrol. They have their jobs. They have their pensions. They have their lives. They have risked their lives. And what, quite frankly, is a hellish job. And now we just sit here mad that they're not doing their job and they've been ordered to. We're letting the traitor in chief carry out this North American Union plan. See, I'm already ranting. It's just that I guess as you get older, you just realize that it's easy to sit around and blame people. And, and folks always love to seem to blame the low-level people. Because then, you know, it's politically correct and nobody gets mad at you. Instead of blaming ourselves and blaming the people at the top of the pyramid who are really guilty. I'm just going to say that again. They're saying brace for imminent terror attack any minute. The shopping malls aren't safe to go to. You know, Jay Johnson says... On Face the Nation, is it safe to go to the Mall of America? You need to be very concerned. You need to watch out. You need to be really careful. What? I mean, statistically, let's say you work at the Mall of America, and there was a terror attack. What, one out of 500 you're going to get shot? There's a better chance you're going to die in a car wreck this year than that if you work there. Then, what, maybe one out of 500 chances there's going to be a terror attack? You add those two together, and I'm just throwing out numbers here as an example. It's not scientific. Very low probability. You got a better chance of a deer jumping out in front of your car and coming through the windshield and killing you. I think it's like 260-something people in the World Almanac, last time I read it, I think in 2013, died of deer. Are we having checkpoints for the phantom deer? Are we having TSA out there to... You know, have checkpoints to stop the deer from jumping in front of us? No. There's a sign. They put a sign up when they've had a bunch of wrecks. That's how that's chosen in most states. They put them on deer trails. And they say, hey, look out for elk. Look out for moose. Look out for whitetail. Look out for mule. Look out for children. If it's in a city, at a crosswalk. You do, I mean, there's no way to keep you completely safe. And I know our listeners know that. But the globalists putting out this idea that we're doing all this to keep you safe is a load of bull. Our borders are only there to stop cowboys shipping drugs in that the big banks aren't actually bringing in themselves. That's it. But if you're an illegal, they're there and they're wide open. And that's just not fair. I mean, you get arrested in Mexico if you're an illegal, but not here. More and more. They... I'm digressing. Socialist architect behind FCC's net neutrality says let's eliminate capitalist propaganda. Well, the latest on that big fight. Huge news on the GMO front. Huge news on the FBI saying ISIS is in all 50 states. It's all coming up. Stay with us. Back to the UK and questions. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Jones here live. In almost every case, the leadership of Al-Qaeda, ISIS, Boko Haram, 
all these different groups, are British intelligence. Time and time again, I had the former top Justice Department official over counterterrorism on Loftus, John Loftus, about five years ago, because I saw him on Fox News, we played the clip, exposing that the leader of the 7-7 bombings in London of the subway and the bus, remember that? In 2005, it came out in documents, was MI6, their CIA, and was being protected going in and out of the country. And it's the same story over and over again. Remember they caught British SAS uh, Special Forces? What our Delta Forces modeled after? Dressed up like Wahhabists, attacking Shiite shrines. Uh, in 2006 in Iraq, it was even in the London Guardian. And when the Iraqi police, that are military trained and British military trained, you know, the good guys supposedly, arrested them, took their mask and beards off, all their weapons that they had, and put it on television, released the photos, they had a whole bunch of tanks and the British Army attack the barracks and the police station, blow it up, kill a bunch of people, British troops got killed. I mean, there was film footage of British troops on fire on top tanks. It was a major skirmish to get them out of the jail and cover up their identities. I could go on for like five hours. It's just that so many times the people getting the Shiites and Sunnis to kill each other are Western intelligence. You got Adam Gadon, the grandson of the former head of the Anti-Defamation League, arrested repeatedly in California going to mosque and beating up Muslims. That's how much he hated Muslims. Joining Al-Qaeda, growing a beard, and becoming number two, some argue number one. Adam Gadon, former name Perlman, leading Al-Qaeda. I mean, who believes that Al-Qaeda is going to follow a Jew? It's totally fake. Are there real jihadis? Are there real Wahhabist terror groups being funded by Saudi Arabia to invade Syria and other areas? Absolutely. But the, when you see, even Fox News had to come out and say, you know, this is fake video. The State Department went, yeah, it is. Two weeks ago of the, uh, them walking the people to be executed by the beach, and they're seven foot five or whatever. Every one of the Al-Qaeda people is, is over seven feet tall. It's just manipulated. I mean, we could make videos like this. I could look at the beheadings and the mass burnings and tell you as a video person that's worked with for 22 years and who we got green screens, you know, we do some fun pieces around here, but it's obviously fake when I'm up there in a blue throne as Cobra Commander, but it looks like I'm at the White House in a throne. I mean, it would fool a child. You can see that it's fake, though. The eye picks it up. These are all green screened, boys and girls. They were made in some Hollywood lot. Now, separately, you got thousands of Christians getting killed every month, churches getting blown up everywhere. That'll be in a military news website. That'll be in a foreign news site. That'll be in a local site. That'll be in foreign papers. But the real stuff, and let me tell you, we've, we've played the videos of Christians being taken to the top of an eight-story building and thrown off one after another and they censor our YouTube account. The news and everybody else is allowed to put out the beheadings and the burnings, but we show you real stuff, real stuff, and it's shut down, okay? So there's plenty of real radical jihadi garbage. There's plenty of real footage of them killing people, and they are killing people, mainly Christians, and Alawite Muslims and other minority groups and Kurds. But that's not what's being shown here in the United States, and it's part of a propaganda operation. Last night, in fact, guys, see if you can find it. It showed a new ISIS, the Women of ISIS video. I was, I was watching, I think, CNN, they showed a clip of it. And it looked like they were wearing designer Versace, and it was like beautiful women, and it was how the beautiful women of the West are going and joining it. This is meant to purely make everybody get jealous and go, how dare them be getting our Kate Upton lookalikes? How dare them be getting our women? We got to get over there and blow them up. And then it will be Syria that's attacked and Assad that's taken down and the very jihadis we claim we're fighting that are put in power. And notice that's all being announced on the news now. I saw McCain yesterday 
calling for attacking Russia, basically, and comparing them to the Nazis. And then later when I went to the full tape of it, they were talking about we've got to go and take Assad out because Assad has created the vacuum that's allowed Al-Qaeda and ISIS to be there when the West started the whole thing. But when they know the public is politically and geopolitically and economically illiterate, and the public on average is illiterate when it comes to how the world works. They know about the football scores. They know about what Babe Ruth hit in 1931. Uh, they know how to act cool. They know how to jack their trucks up. They know how to get the right deer rifle. Women know how to go get their lips injected with, you know, with collagen. They know how to act cool to their girlfriends. But they don't know about the three branches of government. They don't know about bait and switch stuff like this net neutrality garbage. They don't know about dirty tricks. They don't know about pump and dump. They don't know about the clergy response teams. They don't know about the panopticon surveillance grid that's in place. They don't know how it's used to corner the market and shut down competition. That's in the news today. I've been telling you forever, the NSA is about giving select economic intel not to defeat our economic enemies overseas, if you believe in that, but to shut down U.S. independent industry or any other industry that's not part of the inner cabal, that is bank-owned mega corporations. There's the six, you now five global banks that issue the currency and credit worldwide that are buying up the entire economy, and they've got the NSA-type systems globally spying on everyone, jacking that intel in to corner the markets and consolidate and take full control and know every decision that's being made. That's why under InfraGuard and similar systems in Europe and the United States, all major Fortune 500 CEOs who opt in, and if you don't opt in, they come after you with economic warfare and regulators. You then get a heads-up display of intel that's been thinly washed, where it just gives you recommendations, directives on where to invest, what to do, uh, what competition is going to be up to. And that's the next big, next big shoe to drop. I can tell you that's the next thing that Snowden uh, is going to be releasing, is that if they let him, because there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff going on, He's a libertarian, reportedly, and he said libertarianism will sweep the world and all these crony capitalists are going to be brought down. What he's talking about is what will bring down the, quote, U.S. government with lawsuits and the rest of it is the torturous interference, is the economic espionage, is the criminal racketeering of the Fortune 100 across the board and much of the Fortune 500 are globally tied in and to get access to this data You've got to swear then to follow agenda directives of the higher level InfraGuard. That's the FBI operation. They have an even higher level NSA CIA uh, badge accredited program. The top CEOs are microchipped. I have them from the highest levels. Uh, they are flown to military bases monthly uh, to have secret briefings in person uh, in shielded areas where they know no surveillance can get in just like the Capitol has a room that has that. Warren Buffett, uh, the day before 9-11, called over 100 top CEOs. It was 146 of them, reported on in the Omaha newspaper, and had them in Offutt Air Force Base in a secret meeting that started at 8 a.m. Central Time that day, and they had big screen TVs in there of the towers being hit with top generals in the meeting. So... You understand that's a little window into how things really work. You're told you're going to be given the total consolidation power. You're going to be given unlimited bank funding by our banks at 0% interest. You're going to be given how to make all your moves. It's just like uh, he took 10 years to write it. Oliver Stone's masterpiece, uh, The Godfather, is like Mario Puzo's The uh, Godfather. Oliver Stone, who wrote Scarface, took a composite of real things. He went to Latin America, Miami, you name it, 10 years to write Scarface. Scarface is basically real, folks. It's an allegory of the world with, with real characters whose names have been changed to protect the innocent, as they would say. And in that, the corrupt cop goes in and he says, you're going to pay us 20, 30 percent of everything you make. You know, writes the number on the paper and he goes, but here's how it works. We're going to tell you who's coming after you. We're going to tell you how to be ready for them. We're going to then uh, have you give, uh, inform on us to who you sell to because we like snacks. 
We want a controlled drug dealer operation. And then the bankers come in next. And then Tony says, man, they run the whole show. They're the real criminals. They've been doing it for hundreds of years. And Tony has the right instinct to only work with them, or and, and he won't get busted. But his friend goes, no, let's go with the outside gangsters, and that's when they do get busted. I mean, you watch that movie, folks, you learn how the world really works. The Godfather's the same. Those are all real people in that movie with the names changed. But those were real it's people. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's togethersave.com. Togethersave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. Togethersave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at togethersave.com. It's happening again. The feds are trying to ban your freedom to own body armor. In January, a newly introduced bill, H.R. 378, will take away your right to buy level 3 and higher body armor. Katie Armor offers the most affordable level 3 body armor packages on the market today. Protect yourself. Buy your body armor now before it's too late. Go to katiearmor.com. That's C-A-T-I armor.com. Come and take it. As the new world order continues to tighten its grip on every facet of our lives, we're all asking ourselves, how can we maintain our independence? The answer is clear. Get prepared and you get prepared now. Now the only question left is where do we begin? My Patriot Supply is here to help. Call 800-247-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. We're even covering the cost of shipping. Are you willing to rely on the government and FEMA in the event of an emergency? Call 800-274-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. You won't be able to find this deal online, and there is a strict limit of four per caller, so don't wait. Call now, 800-274-3070. That's 800-274-3070. Call right now. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. In school today, the 60% of our bodies are made of water. Good thing we have the Berkey system. It's the cleanest, best water ever. Mom says it's because the Berkey's filtration system cleans out the bad stuff and leaves only pure, delicious water. I know, right? You love it too. Yeah, I'm thirsty too. Let's go get some. Get Berkey clean water by calling 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Or visit GoBerkey.com. You hear about it every day. Another shooting where innocent people lose their lives. The best insurance is being prepared. Give your loved ones the safety they deserve with a bulletproof backpack. Independently tested to withstand a 357 and multiple other calibers. Perfect for students, commuters, anyone. Shield yourself and your family. Call 8445-BULLET. That's 8445-BULLET or see the proof at bulletproofbp.com. Bulletproofbp.com. We've got your back. It's so frustrating to know that since 1947, the private corporations 
have been able to take over our government and have total secrecy, total anonymity, diplomatic immunity, get out of jail free cards, license to kill basically with the National Security Act of 1947. And then you learn that England, since about the 1870s, had a similar National Security Act to establish officially uh, new systems for its already huge intelligence apparatus, one of the best in the world. And it's taken over their parliament, it's taken over their government, and the same system has now taken over here. Pratt House... 1922 established in New York City, Council on Foreign Relations by Anglophiles. When you see Gilligan's Island and Thurston Howell III, oh, Buffy, oh, Mrs. Howell. When you hear people talk like that, that was in fashion since the end of the Civil War right through to today that uh, East Coast elites speak with an affected quasi-British accent known as an Atlantic accent. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of degenerated into the fake speech of what you'd think of as a Judge Schmales. And what I'm getting at here is this is the fraudulent aristocracy that is in control with Rothschild money and Rothschild banks backing it. Because the Rothschilds in 1913 were able to establish the private run for private Federal Reserve and a hundred years previous... Seems like a long time ago, but it was 98 years previous. We're able to do, to do the same thing with the Bank of England in what is now the United Kingdom today. So to understand all the things that are happening and the big picture. Out of all this news I've got in front of me in the stack, they're telling us brace for terror attacks. Give all your rights up. The terrorists are going to hit you any minute. The only way to protect yourself is to give your rights up while the borders stay wide open, and then meanwhile, it's coming out in the news, and I'm going to cover this, that the people running ISIS are connected to British intelligence. What a surprise that is. What a surprise that is. And I just start thinking back as I started the show last segment to all the times it turns out being British intelligence. People say, well, what is it? You know, is it a Jewish conspiracy? Is it a Masonic conspiracy? Is it a Vatican conspiracy? Is it a British conspiracy? Is it a <clears throat> Islamic conspiracy? No, it's the screw job conspiracy of secret intelligence agencies above the law tied in with corporations, now with a giant panopticon, almost omnipresent spy grid, feeding everybody's economic, cultural, and spiritual data, everything we do, back to them, to giant, deep blue, Watson, IBM, devil computers, to understand the mind of the group politic, to then twist and manipulate and guide it. And now the unseen hand is not unseen, and it's a thousand times bigger in its sophistication than it was a hundred years ago. Probably 10,000 times. There's no way to quantify the leap in all this, but it's the same humans, the same corrupted humans, the same family lines that are now controlling this awesome power. So what is going to come out of that? All I'm trying to do is cause a debate about this and for us to really get serious. And it's not like I'm saying let's do a bunch of work. It's awesome to sit back and really figure out what's going on in the world because then you're living in a super exciting science fiction movie. You're not living in Dancing with the Stars in the NHL and the NFL. And believe me, I like Dancing with the Stars. Beautiful women. I love the human body and the dancing. I love the NHL. I love the NFL. But compared to a world scientific government jacking the water and food, and we can see the population already getting sick and dying, and knowing, I mean, 
that's just epic. That's just one facet. So sorry. I did watch Dancing with the Stars uh, when I was on the elliptical yesterday. Watch this. It was on TV. They had like a finalist thing, and I was admiring the uh, models and things. I mean, I, I, I get it. We're supposed to be able to have a good time sometimes, but I'm just saying it's all put up We're to, to distract march. us. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride, GMO, estrogen mimickers, and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 Leading a frontal assault on the lies of the New World Order, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Dr. Billy DeMoss, the founder of CalJam, that I'm a big fan of and I'm the keynote speaker at coming up next month, is our guest. And I was really happy that we could get him on the show, but I didn't realize that he was flying here to be on the show. I'm honored. Uh, talk about one of the main leaders out there in California and other areas of the country leading the health revolution. He's it. And uh, the guy looks like a CIA hitman. Uh, he looks like a, a, a GQ model or something in this suit he was in there wearing. I tell you, he's something else. And uh, he's got a, a lot to talk about today about how we're winning the war against the tyrants. Big British study came out. London Telegraph reported on it. We covered it yesterday that, yes, fluoride is making you fat, depressed, and destroying your thyroid and other organs. Uh, it's just huge. Major British government-funded study. Uh, we've got record numbers of farmers planting non-GMO. 
Now the British government is in the Daily Mail, uh, calls GM Foods something else to ease public fears, say MPs, members of parliament, report says label is lightning rod for fears of designer crops. So now they don't just want to have to label, they want to pass a law where you can't label and say organic in the UK because no one will buy it over there. They're voting with their dollars, they're voting with their free will choice, one of the last freedoms they have in the UK, and so now the government wants to stop calling it GMO. Un Believable. Unbelievable. So we're going to talk about this and more with Dr. Billy Damas coming up. You can find out details at infowars.com forward slash CalJam. And by the way, go ahead and tell Anthony because he's in there in, in, in charge of our web marketing. Does a fabulous job on top of writing news articles. I'll just let you know Anthony's been doing that for over a year for us. Done a great job. Anthony has it where all the banners in the next hour will go to CalJam. Well, let's just have them go to that now, and you can find some specials and things there. It first goes to doctors and health nutritionists and others. It's already almost sold out when they open it up to the public. Uh, I think it holds 5,000 people, uh, but they can open up another area to about 6,000. They've got some reserved uh, in the select areas in the, in the first few rows. So there's a few tickets in each area left. That's a classic sales tactic. Oh, hey, uh, it's going to sell out. Better buy your tickets if you're on the West Coast. No, it does sell out every year. You can go to the website, see the videos. It may sell out in a matter of days. Today is the day that they start uh, selling the tickets for CalJam. So Infowars.com forward slash CalJam. That's where you link through. Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. Let's flip the banners now for the next hour and a half to 100% uh, to this event where I am the keynote speaker. You know, they asked me to speak this year, and I said, you know, I haven't been speaking enough. I've been promising to start doing some more traveling and speaking. And I said, I'll do it. And then I went to their website last week, and I'm the featured speaker, so I, I didn't realize that. So I am the featured speaker, and uh, if you want to do that, go to infowars.com forward slash CalJam, or just go to infowars.com and all the banners uh, link through if you want to get tickets. And, you know, I've had events in Southern California before, uh, and we had to turn away over a thousand people at my LA event, over a thousand people, and people were really upset with me. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, we had to turn away probably 500 people after we booked a second show with a thousand people at each event in uh, Santa Cruz, and the tickets were very affordable as well was one reason. But every event I've basically ever had has been sold out. There's been a few where. I didn't promote it, and, and it was, you know, just 60%, 70% full. But if I promote something, it always sells out. Plus, Cal Jam always sells out. So it, it's, a very, it's got a lot of great music, a lot of great speakers, uh, the cutting edge of what's happening in alternative health. It's an event I've always wanted to go to. I've heard so much about it, the amazing, uh, huge uh, theater that it's in that holds again. They can expand it out total to 7,000. They're only going to expand it up to 6,000 is what I was told. So there's basically 1,000 tickets left. Uh, and those will sell out. Today's the day they open it up. Again, insiders that are already into the health field get the first dibs of getting the tickets last week, and then they hold some to the general public. That's why it's such a great event to be at, is that these people uh, are just so healthy. I mean, they look like um, Barbie dolls or something, or Ken dolls, but it's what healthy lifestyles actually do for you. And I haven't gotten there yet, but I've lost 40 plus pounds, ladies and gentlemen. 40 plus pounds. In fact, soon I'm going to show the photos of myself over the last few months losing another 10 pounds or so. Uh, and I've got a tiny bit of fat on my stomach and it's gone. I just got a big round head, but my body, I mean, it's, it's there. I, I'm, I'm down to like 6 7% body fat now. And I used to be like 25% body fat. So... Just the just vitamins, minerals, the same amount of exercise, cutting back some of the crap food I was eating. I'm not a purist like these folks, but I'm trying. It has been life-changing, and this is how we defeat the globalists. I didn't mean to go off into a whole jag talking about this. That's in the second hour. Then we'll have open phones in the third hour and cover some other uh, major news. Obama to ban bullets by executive action threatens top-selling AR-15 rifle. That just broke at DrudgeReport.com, red-linked. Uh, will you please print this for me? This is unbelievable. We've got to get this article up on Infowars.com right now. And he promised 
that he would try to restrict bullets and guns with executive action. And this is the line in the sand, folks. Opening our borders by executive action. Uh, cutting off our power plants by executive action. And now, as promised, President Obama is using executive actions to impose gun control in the nation, targeting the top selling rifle in the country, the AR-15 style semi-automatic with a ban on one of the most used AR bullets by sportsmen and target shooters. And here's the deal. They'll go after one rifle and one type of bullet first, one type of projectile, and then when they've got that, it's everything. It'll be all semi-autos, down to your semi-auto bird shotgun, and then it'll be bolt action, and it'll be single shot. This is un... And they've got the link directly to the NRA. Oh, my gosh. Get this up on InfoWars.com. They're going to executive tyrannical action. He couldn't pass the gun restrictions, so he's doing it as a dictator. And if tyranny came, would anybody notice? I mean, this is it. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives this month revealed that it's proposing to put a ban on 5.56 ammo. Oh, my gosh. That's the most popular ammo in America now. I've got like five guns that shoot that. Unbelievable. I've got the evil Bushmaster. I've got the evil stag arms. In fact, will you go to Weldon and have him bring me one of my AR-15s in here, please? One of my M4s. <sighs> Immediately driving up the price of the bullets and prompting retailers, including the huge outdoors company Cabela's. See, where is my news division? I'm not mad at anybody, but I'm so focused on the internet power grab, the internet kill switch, this has been out for days, and I didn't know about this? And Drudge just learned of this? I know hey, Jakari was covering Alex, gun stuff last yeah, night. Yeah, we uh, had Michael Cargill on last night, and actually, if they can pull it up on 9. Good, I'm sorry I missed our, that. Yeah, as soon as I heard you, Jakari, I knew I was good. Good job. Yeah. Fill me in. What's going on? There it is. Okay, gun so owners the agree. the ATF wants to re-regulate uh, types of ammunition, and they're trying to spin it as, you know, it's a great deal. You'll have more my bullets to go out shooting with your AR-15. But as I was talking to Cargo last night, we both agreed that if you let them in to change this one thing, then they can just keep changing whatever they felt like changing. So it could go all the way down the line. Well, that's like they say they're going to protect the Internet net neutrality by having the FCC take over the Internet and restrict it. We need to change your video headline to Obama to ban bullets by executive action. That's what this really is. Washington Examiner. It's already driving up the price. Wednesday night, Representative Bob Goodlot, uh, the Republican chairman of the House, Judiciary Committee stepped in with a critical letter to the Bureau demanding and explain the surprise and abrupt bullet ban. Why are they calling it a bullet ban? What specifically is happening, Jakari? Well, what they're doing, Alex, is with this particular thing, the ATF, like I was saying, they, they're saying that all it's going to be is something for the hunters so you can have more ammunition. But, you know, as myself and Cargo were pointing out, that once you let them in, you let the camel put its nose under the tent then they can change this, they can change that. It's the slippery slope, and a lot of people, a lot of the gun owners I've seen don't want to play this game. Well, give me a wide shot in there, because I've had enough of this. I've had enough. Let me explain something to the New World Order, okay? You're not getting our guns. 1776 started when you tried to get them, you bastards. And as Charlton Heston famously said, from my cold, dead hand, you sons of bitches, you got that? You're not getting our firearms. Do you understand? This far and no further with your damn dictatorship. I'm sick of it. Excuse me. Let me plug back in so I can hear Jakari. I mean, folks, they are pushing on every front. Totally open borders. Selling us out to world government. Trying to take over the Internet. I mean, they are moving on every single stinking front. What do you say to this, Jakari? And you also know, Alex, you know this, but some of our viewers may not. They've tried to ban, you know, AK-47s, other type of things. And every time they do this, there's a massive gun sale. I talked to Cargo last night. He said when they came through with the U.N. sanctions on the AK-47s, you know, massive splurge and uh, ammunition. All these things always go up. You know, right after Sandy Hook, they wanted to ban the AR-15 rifle. Uh, everybody goes out and buys the a AR-15 rifle. And I see you got one there as well. So it's just uh, more of the same. They keep trying to do the same things. So if they can't just go door to door, and everybody says they've never gone door to door. Hurricane Katrina, they went door to door taking people's firearms. They realized that wasn't the best way to go about it. So now they're trying to, with these executive actions, trying to ban the ammunition, trying to do all these other things to take your firearms away. And the, 
They want to restrict the 223, unbelievable by executive action, which sets the precedent that they can do everything by executive action. We have a Congress and we have a Bill of Rights and Constitution. Not even the Congress can touch the Bill of Rights, ladies and gentlemen. Jakari, I didn't mean to read this headline and then read this article and blow up, but people should get upset. Why do you think the globalists are moving in such high gear, Jakari? Well, just like you always say, you know, what do you do? You come in and you disarm the population. And once you disarm a population, you know, nobody can really say anything about it. You know, so we've seen this in other countries and everybody talks about what about the uh, the low gun crime in Britain? Even though those are misleading numbers, they count incidents, not victims. But if you want to talk about a gun controlled country, why don't you talk about Mexico where they don't have guns? But, you know, they got cartels running down the streets, shooting people hanging people from bridges and doing all these other crazy things, cartels that get their weapons courtesy of the United States government. And do a lot of shooting these days. I don't have time to even go out and do a lot of shooting these days, but I understand it's a canary in the coal mine. But so is the Internet, so is our borders. The president is officially now a dictator. He says he'll implement the U.N. gun ban treaty, even if Congress doesn't ratify it. Do people understand this is called dictatorship, Jakari? I don't know what they think. I mean, because they're so distracted with all these other things. And there's a lot of things going on in the world. We've got plenty of other uh, articles on Infowars.com. But, you know, if people can, uh, you can go to the ATF right now and write them and tell them, you know, what your thoughts are about this. And it's, it was interesting to me that they're not having an open comment form. It's just email us and tell us what you think. So, you know, they, they could cook the book's potential. Well, you know, 90% of gun owners sent us an email and said they love the new ammo restrictions, and I don't think that's what the case is going to be at all. And the way they're restricting it is they're going to call full metal jacket armor piercing and basically restrict it. This is unbelievable. And then they'll start raiding people's houses that have it. I mean, I've probably got 10,000 rounds of full metal jacket. At issues of so-called armor piercing ammunition, an exemption for those bullets mostly used uh, by sport. See, they're saying, oh, you can't use it in sport anymore. Owners and the recent popularity of pistol-style ARs that use the ammo. The inexpensive 5.56 M885 ammo, commonly called green tips, have been exempt for years and have higher caliber ammunition that can easily pierce the type of soft armor worn by police. So see, well, all bullets are cop killer. All bullets. I mean, listen, folks, I bought B-52 50 cal ammo from a police supply house, I walked in with SWAT teams buying bullets in front of me, and I went out with a shopping cart loaded with uh, B-52 ammo from 1963 that's armor-piercing. But the issue is I'm not going to go out and do anything illegal with it. I, it was cheap target ammo, about a th half the price of regular 50 cal, and we bought a couple thousand rounds of it. The point is, though, I could use my car, hypothetically, or you could, to run people over. We don't need to ban cars or baseball bats because someone might do something with it. But now, so the real headline here is, most popular round to be banned by Obama under executive action. Sub-headline, uh, bullets to be labeled cop killer. So that's how they're going to get the bullets, is calling them cop killer. Look. Any bullet can be a cop killer. A hatchet can be a cop killer. My fist can be a cop killer. Just like a cop can kill you with their fist, a taser, or a gun. This is asinine. That's right, Alex. And actually, on 9, if we can pull this up, I have the contact information for the ATF, so anybody who wants to contact them can see it right here on the screen. And that's uh, APA comments at ATF.gov. APA comments at ATF.gov. Listen, this is Holder sworn to get our guns. Their fax is 202-648-9741. Listen, I love how we can go to the EPA on comments on shutting down power plants and they just do it. And it's fine to contact them, but it's not the ATF to restrict our bullets. It would have to be an act of Congress and the Supreme Court would overturn it just like they did in D.C. Heller. This is criminal. This is lawless. This is illegal. And I want to be clear. It was the ATF that began to blow the whistle on Fast and Furious because that was so criminal. So the entire ATF, though they're unconstitutional, though they're out of control, though they're the original revenuers on the whiskey tax and are a very bad federal agency, there are, believe it or not, people in the agency, because I know now, because they've leaked stuff to 
our connections, I'll just say that, who do not like what's happening, who didn't believe us 20 years ago saying they were tyrants. Now they know we're right, so we don't want to make the ATF our enemy. But they do not have the legitimate right to run around with rule making because Obama tells them to restrict our guns, period. There's no debate, Jakari. Do you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. And he keeps trying. You know, they keep saying, why do you guys have been saying since Obama became a president that he was going to ban your guns? He keeps trying. There's that famous clip of him talking about the bitter clingers, people hanging on to their guns in their Bibles. And now today we see the reports out. Eventually, the media has gotten around to reporting how these uh, ISIS rebels, these Al Qaeda rebels are now are killing Christians. We've been reporting on that for years. It's just now a, a news thing. Well, what I want to do is I want to take the Examiner article, add some of our videos and warnings to it. And I want to just go with the headline, Obama, Obama to label bullets cop killer. I, I mean, Obama gun confiscation plan revealed. He begins with executive action to restrict bullets, calling him cop killer. I mean, I guess their headline's good. Obama demand bullets by executive action threatens top selling AR-15 rifle. That's it. I mean, I mean, that's what it is. And if they can take down the big dog, uh, the AR-15 M4 variants, then because they're so easy to shoot, they're so accurate. Women love them. That's why Joe Biden says women don't get them. I mean, the headline is Obama. Obama demand most popular bullet, calling it cop killer. Executive tyranny in high gear. I mean, this is a red alert, over the top, unbelievable. And I saw it and began to read the article, and sure enough, they're calling them cop killers and just the ATF outside of law. I want a full court press on this, guys. Everybody knows about the net grab. We need to go a full court press, because if he gets away with this executive action, Katie, bar the door. This is incredible. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow, a new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. More and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body. And there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. When an emergency happens, you could be left to fend for yourself and your family. An outbreak of contagious disease can happen anywhere. Because we're faced with more diseases than ever before, we need a better solution than ever before. Fortunately, there is a simple, effective way to protect yourself. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary silver solution that is clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. And it's powerful enough to help protect you and your family from deadly viruses, bacterias, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is effective against more than 500 different disease-causing pathogens without encouraging drug resistance and without side effects. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported and is the number one choice of thousands for improved health and immune system support. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the code SILVER2015 for 30% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance. By now, you heard about Bitcoins. But did you know that over 65,000 businesses accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Because at BidBit.co, you can receive Bitcoin by selling your personal items or business products. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your products quickly, easily, and securely at BidBit.co. That's B-I-D. B-I-T dot C-O. BidBit.co. Hear that? That's the sound of a house being trashed while a gang of thieves ransack the place. And what they don't steal will be destroyed. This year, resolve not to be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone inside is watching TV, even when you're miles away. Security is a mindset, and fake TV should be part of your security solution. Be vigilant, but not fearful. faketv.com
Infowars.com to my right on my little iPad. And then I've got DrudgeReport.com to my left over here, and I've got my crew constantly scanning the news. We knew he would go after the AR-15. He promised to with executive action. Congress has warned him. We knew he would, because the anti-gun groups tell us what they're going to do. We knew he would use the UN Treaty as some type of official authority to supersede Congress and the Bill of Rights. And now they're actually going to try to ban a type of uh, full metal jacket 223 that they call armor piercing. They're all armor piercing. This is incredible. And then by that argument, ban everything. I, I am simply blown away at this point. I want to take your phone calls again in the third hour after our special guest on a bunch of key positive health news, but we'll also go over some of the studies that are out. Will you guys reprint me that Canadian government study on the uh, fluoride uh, causing brain damage? And then there's this new one uh, out of uh, England, the London Telegraph, on it also causing brain damage and depression and the thyroid to go out. I know we covered that yesterday, but I'm going to get back into that with this, this GM news. And then we're going to cover full body transplants will be possible within two years. Well, that's in the London Independent. Obama threatens to fire, quote, ICE officials uh, who don't follow his executive amnesty, his illegal executive amnesty. Unbelievable. So again, the government is not even our enemy here. They always call us anti-government. We're anti-unconstitutional government. Anti-all-powerful state. But they want to make it where if you disagree without a control government, you hate the Border Patrol, you hate the FBI, you hate uh, the bookkeeper. And I've always you know, been critical of these groups, but, but always said, hey, they're not the enemy, but at the same time got threatened by them at a primitive level and said a lot of mean things. I realized I was helping the PSYOP the last six, seven years. Everybody's noticed my change. Because I go out to rallies at federal buildings, I get a lot of intel from feds. They're more awake, people like Bongino and Dan Bongino and just countless others that you've heard on the air and countless others you haven't. They're totally freaked out, folks, because they know the law. They know that they're being ordered to engage in crime, and they don't know what to do. They're begging the American people to put a stop to this. The globalists, if I was them, and, the, and I know how they think, they've done it before, 1995, they're going to blow stuff up. They're going to do it. They're going to blame it on us. You can see them building up to it to try to get us all killing each other, and I'm just not going to be part of it. I am not offensively looking to start a war. But if they start rounding people up and doing stuff like that, it will start a real civil war. And just know that people like George Soros and the globalists are the ones to blame, ladies and gentlemen. And I just hope that all the fools that have gone along with this system, because they've got a lot of idiots working for them as well, understand they're on the losing end and they're on the wrong side of history. I mean, who could deny that, that bad guys are running the country? Congress has an 8% approval rating in Gallup right now. That's just a general approval of government. The feds and locals need to decide whose side they're on and need to work with the public to try to save this country. And I know most of you are already on that page. What do we do about the brainwashed that think following every criminal order is what they're supposed to do. How do we stop this? There's some smart people out there. Will you please give me some ideas? I'm just trying to warn everybody, hoping we're smart enough to figure it out. Briefly, uh, we will sell out of super male and super female vitality. Well, super female isn't selling out, but super male is selling out. So we may have to end the special of 20% off earlier than uh, next week. Because it's all selling out. There's two days left, 20% off, already discounted. Super male, super female vitality. You've heard the rave reviews. So if you want to try it, get your bottle today. And we are selling out of the Ancient Defense. So if you want your free bottle of that with X2, find it at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com. And your purchase supports broadcast. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNLive.com today. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges.
Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas... Alex Jones. Well, we knew it was coming. Obama promised executive action on the U.N. gun ban and to try to go after Shimmy Auto, M16, M4, AR-15 variants. Almost no crimes are committed with these guns, but they don't care. 2% of crime, FBI statistics, for using assault rifles. In front of you is the Army version or Marine Corps version. It's the infantry version, to be more accurate, of the Barrett 50 caliber rifle. And we've got two of those here at the office. And uh, look, it's not coming out of its gun safe at night and attacking people. Because we're engaged in an info war. In fact, guys, will you bring in my printout that I had on the nightly news last night uh, of, uh, oh, how we burned in the camps later? Because that's really what all of this is coming down to these days. We're faced with classical tyranny. We're, we're faced with the classical takeover. And notice how they phrase all this from the article in the Washington Examiner up on InfoWars.com and DrudgeReport.com. The BATF-E and explosives says that since the bullets can be used in semi-automatic handguns, oh my gosh, they pose a threat to police and must be banned from production, sale, and use. But as the congressman noted, they offered no proof. Federal agencies will still be allowed to buy the ammo. All bullets are cop killers. All bullets can be armor piercing, basically. So the argument that they've got to ban a bullet because it can shoot through body armor. I mean, do you know how easy it would be if you really wanted to wait around the corner or walk up to a cop when they're getting out of their squad car and club them in the head with a ball-peen hammer and take their gun? I don't want to get into special forces tactics, but, I mean, you can go read about them online. You can learn about it. You can learn about World War II tactics. And uh, I talked to some of the old boys before they died that that's how they'd get more guns and ammo when they were running out. Because they just go get German weapons and how they do it is with a hammer. You're not going to stop people killing. I don't care if it's citizens, cops, whatever. And so it's, oh, you want to kill the cops? And the Republicans are like, you haven't proven this ammo can kill cops. Don't go in that briar patch. All ammo is cop killer. You can't restrict legal and lawful citizens' rights to ammo. By their argument, folks, all, the way I read this now, and I've had time to read it all, because it just broke as I saw it go up as a red link. By the way, this is a red link. This is basically all full metal jacket. Not just the so-called green tips that I guess have a little, is it a tungsten core, Jakari? In fact, I saw some of this in your office a few months ago on your desk. Uh, I think it was advertised as hog killer, because I guess it penetrates better. Yeah, I think we have that back in the, uh, the prop room. But, yeah, I had to look it up exactly. Yeah, what you were doing some report when he was already proposing this, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's been after this for a while. Well, somebody do me a favor and go find that in Jakari's office in the prop room. Um, it's a green box, isn't it? Jakari knows where it's at. He can get it. My head's just spinning right now. I mean, I knew the other shoe was going to drop, but I'm going to explain this again. <laughs> it wouldn't matter if the 322 pages of the FCC takeover have bad stuff in it or not, which we know it has bad stuff in it. That's why they won't release it. Folks that have seen it have leaked it, including commissioners. It's the FCC 
getting regulatory jurisdiction outside of Congress over the Internet in the United States, where the Internet came from. So that's why it's bad. We need net neutrality from the corporations and the government, and the big corporations, you better believe, are in deep with this group. So I want a full court press, folks. Obama moves to ban 223 ammo is really the headline. Subheadline, executive action, latest imperial move. Uh, all, other ammo and guns will follow just as sure as night follows day. I mean, boom. Were you able to find it that quick, Jakari? Wow. <clears throat> He's got him right there. Let's punch Jakari up. There is the evil ammo. Jakari now, shows... these aren't green tips, but these are uh, pretty similar to what they're talking about, Ben. I mean, that's a penetrator round, isn't it? Or is that a mushrooming round? Uh, let's see. Cinefire. Isn't that a game round? Yeah, this is for you. Honey. Hog hammer. I knew it was, yeah. That's yeah, a game round. By the way, in my experience, those are even more armor piercing. I'll tell you a little secret. Those, those, those bullets break up. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at infowarslife.com now infowarslife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives now more than ever it's important to stock up on high quality silver bullet from infowarslife.com no survival chest is complete without silver bullet secure your silver bullet today at infowarslife.com or by calling toll free 888-253-3139 silver bullet the month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, Dr. Billy DeMoss, the founder of CalJam, is our guest for the next hour. A lot of really exciting health and alternative uh, medicine and supplement news. We are winning the battle, not just here, but worldwide. It doesn't mean we're not uh, you know, overall in a fight of our lives here and that the globalists aren't moving forward on many fronts, but uh, we're having a lot of victories. We're going to talk about that 
uh, with Billy, who's come all the way here from California to deep in the heart of Texas in the Infowars.com News Center. Then, coming up after he leaves us, and we're going to cover some of this with him, full body transplants will be possible within two years, London Independent. We're also going to get into Obama says there'll be consequences for ICE officials who do not follow executive amnesty, where he just orders the borders open, everybody legalized and free welfare just because he feels like it. Saudi Arabia says it might help Israel attack Iran nuclear sites. Top military experts say we've moved two more minutes towards midnight. We're also going to get into socialist architect behind FCC's net neutrality says, quote, let's eliminate capitalist propaganda. Locked and loaded FCC prime for vote on Internet regs. George Soros and the Ford Foundation gave 190 what was it? 196 million. I'm going from memory. Look that up for me. 196 million in the last 12 months because he wants to protect free speech, though he funds Media Matters that spends all its time trying to shut down Drudge Report and Infowars.com. And it came out three years ago in Politico internal memos that they, quote, infiltrate and bring down alternative libertarian media. I mean, do you understand that? In fact, there's the article right there. I actually found it. Uh, right here, Soros Ford shovel 196 million to net neutrality groups, staff to White House. Boom, there's the headline. I mean, you cannot make this up. They're moving on every front right now. Now, with our guest, impact of fluoride on neurological development in children, Harvard hey, Alex, study. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but just real quick before you get into that, we have it on nine FCC votes yes on strongest net neutrality rules. Oh my gosh, so so the FCC, the FCC, not Congress, has decided to draconianly, wow, Time Magazine, print that for me immediately. FCC votes yes on strongest net neutrality rules, and of course the establishment got the news first. Net neutrality advocates uh, quite literally danced in the snowy streets Thursday. Look how they're phrasing it as a victory for freedom to have the FCC take the web over as commissioners and others have said that this Obama initiative actually lets them take it over. It goes on, as the Federal Communications Commission in Washington just before the agency voted to approve the strongest ever rules on net neutrality, which puts the internet under FCC control. The vote marks the culmination of the year-long struggle that pitted grassroots internet advocates and Silicon Valley tech giants against the titans of telecom industry. Actually, it's a bait and switch. The Federal Reserve Board, before they got it passed in 1913, put out ads from the banking associations saying they were against the Federal Reserve Act. This is so over the top. and They admittedly are calling it Chinese-style net censorship. And it's another bait and switch, just like Obamacare was. Here's the deal. They wouldn't let us see the 322 pages. The FCC chairman, Obama appointee, said that he would release it the minute it came out. So where is it? Look in that article. I bet it's not there. I bet they let everybody for a day or so just say it's great, say it's like free health care. And then, you know, in the case of Obamacare, years later, we find out what it actually does. Uh, so all of our researchers get on that right now. Let's find out exactly what's going on. Simply, simply amazing. Oh, very, 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 very frustrating. What a Trojan horse yet again. Dr. Billy DeMoss, uh, he founded the Dead Chiropractic Society in 1996, one of the first monthly philosophy meetings where local uh, DCs and students could immerse themselves regularly in philosophy, art, and science of chiropractic, inspired by music and driven by chiropractic. Uh, eight years ago, Billy D decided he needed to share his vision with a larger audience and a mega lineup of speakers, and thus California Jam, the chiropractic rock and roll event was born. Eight years on, Billy D continues to bring his unique vision to the world of chiropractic, health and wellness, which has seen Cal Jam morph into the fastest growing chiropractic event on the planet. Between putting on Cal Jam and speaking at chiropractic events around the country and abroad, Billy D continues to run one of the most successful practices in Orange County, California, and is known for his no holds barred approach to telling it as it is and like it is, particularly when it comes to promoting an inside-outside approach to health and wellness. All I know is shooting 50 cows handheld last year, I threw my back out. My spine was going in. Went to medical doctors. They couldn't help me. Went to chiropractors. They totally fixed it. The medical doctors said, no way I could get it fixed. 
And the chiropractors I know, you're 50-something years old, look like, how old are you? 56. You're 56. You mean you look like you're 45. I want to get like that. I've lost 40-something pounds from, you know, 200 and almost 80 pounds, 279 pounds you know, naked <laughs> down to, you know, 235. I want to go that last 20, 30 pounds. But everybody says I look a lot better from years of stress and, you know, bad living. But I tell you, when I've gone to events like this, the people are so happy. They're not fake good-looking uh, people. They're just really energized folks. And even when they're not classical, you know, CIA assassin look like you've got going, uh, they still, you know, just have that fire in their eyes that you find in the alternative wellness communities. People, they live longer, they're healthier. What is your vision? What's going on? Why is Cal Jam uh, so popular? I am one of the main speakers there. We're excited to have you too. Well, thank you for having me, brother. Thanks oh, for coming to Texas. <laughs> Well, the vision is just to get the world to wake up to what's going on and everything from health care to sustainability of the planet. And I've just tried to really make an eclectic menu of different speakers with different topics from GMO to the Fukushima thing we're going to be talking about this year to all the geoengineering to health and nutrition. And I also wanted to get the chiropractic message out to people because everybody looks at chiropractic as kind of a Band-Aid kind of healthcare system. But reality, I, if people really understand what chiropractic is about, it's about basically life extension because if we really maintain the spine like you maintain your teeth, your spine protects your nervous system. And if your body has the capacity to better express nerve intelligence through the nervous system spinal cord by having better channels open because of proper spinal alignment, then you're going to have better expression of health. Well, and I fired 100 rounds or more handheld. And just for some reason, I'm always saying, oh, it doesn't kick. It made my spine just bow out. They wanted to do all this surgery. And I went to a chiropractor, and they fixed it in two visits, and this incredible pain was gone. But then I hear the mainstream media bashing chiropractors constantly. Oh, we've been vilified from the very beginning. I mean, there was a movie that was just out called Doctor, and I think that would be another great guest for you have is Jeff Hayes. He just put the movie out, Bought, which is just about how the whole system's bought by Big Pharma and this whole vaccine push and uh, even the GMO push. You're 56 years old. I mean, you look like you're like 45. You, you could be 40 simply amazing i look at dr joel wallach and, and you know how healthy he is at his age you know finally he's 70 plus years old looks like he's 60. i want to get on this train it takes a while to segue into it in my stressful life but i'm doing it but you, you you cover sustainability people saying what's alex jones doing going to a conference that's partially about sustainability well there's real environmentalists real conservationists that don't want nuclear reactors blowing up that don't want to overfish that don't want poison in our water that don't want gmo that's me versus the George Soros crowd that says the only problem is carbon dioxide, let's tax it. Right. I right. mean, you know, it, there's the real environmentalist who are the listeners of the show, and then there's the, I mean, I was talking to somebody about environmentalism at, at a uh, restaurant, somebody goes, you don't want to talk to him about trying to save the oceans, he doesn't care, he's Alex Jones. Like, there's this idea, it's just crazy. Right, right. I mean, who would want to hurt the planet for our children? That's the whole vision for me is, I, I say this all the time, I have lived the most amazing life. My goal is to, future generations, they have that same opportunity. I mean, I look at my nieces and nephews and I, I just really fear for what's going on. And the thing that scares me the most is this big bill they're trying to push in California, the SB 277, where it's gonna be mandatory vaccination in California. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, the Navy just came out with the Canadian government study and said that they vaccinated all these ships in the Canadian and U.S. Navy, and they had more flu. Well, of course. I mean, I, and personally, in my opinion, I, I really have zero faith in, in vaccines. I, I think they're hideously dangerous, and I, I really have zero faith in them. Mahatma Gandhi was against them. Of course. But the thing is... He reportedly I mean, had about 160 IQ. Right. Why are all these smart people concerned about them? Because they know the truth. And they haven't been snowed and, and brainwashed into believing that vaccines saved us from smallpox and polio and all the dogma that I always hear from people that typically have so much faith in something that they've been brainwashed by their media and by a pharmaceutical cartel, which controls the way the doctors think in the system. Well, I'm gonna to try to give you the floor for the, you know, the next 40 minutes and about 20 minutes the next hour that I'm gonna take calls. Uh, but what are some of the topics you wanna to get in today? Cause I know you're an amazing speaker. I've seen a lot of the videos. People are, I think that's why your, your seminars are so popular, not just this big Cal Jam event. Well, they either love me or they hate me. They're probably kind of like you, right? Or does everybody love you? M most folks like me, but I think there's about 20% that hate my guts, yeah. Okay, well, that's probably my range as well.
But I mean, who cares if... if oh, I know. I, it doesn't bother me. I have thick skin. We, I mean, after a while, you just get used to it. In fact, sometimes when I don't have enough haters, it, I, I start to feel maybe I'm not pushing hard enough. Exactly. Do you ever use haters and people that lie about you and misrepresent what you say? Because that, that's what they always do. They build straw men. Right. Does that ever feel you like you're tired? Oh, totally. And all of a sudden, you get attacked and you have all this energy? Right. I do. In fact, I, it's almost fun to me. But I think a lot of those... I think that's winners versus losers. Right, right. Winners don't mind losing sometimes because they're going to get better and win. It's when you're successful, people want to pull you down into their quagmire of just a lower vibration in life. And I, and I think people don't want you to be successful. And I don't get that. I see people that are successful by doing good, and I admire that. Right, and around right, them. right, right, right. But not everybody thinks the way you and I think. I think one of the biggest secrets of success in life is not being like that. I think these people feel bad about themselves, and so they can't imagine that somebody successful is, is good, so they have to demonize you because they have to think you got where you are through fraud. Right. Or luck, or whatever it is. But it's been hard work. I mean, I, I put a lot of time into this whole mission, and the goal is to get this to stadiums eventually. We're going to talk about your mission, your goal, your vision straight ahead. Stay with us. My name is Dell, and I live in El Cajon, California. I was concerned about my cholesterol readings because I knew that high cholesterol is related to clogging of the arteries and increases the risk for heart attack and stroke. One day, I heard an ad for heart and body extract, and I was skeptical, but I decided to give it a try. Man, the numbers don't lie. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. Harvest Right, the makers of the only in-home freeze dryer, would like to present to you their greenhouses that double as emergency shelters. Their greenhouses simply snap together, no tools needed. As a greenhouse, it will stand for decades. It's incredibly strong, long-lasting, and it can be quickly put up or taken down. It is also ideal when used as an emergency shelter. Learn more about this great greenhouse and the money you can save over the big box store prices at HarvestRight.com. That's HarvestRight.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. What good is a big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. There's a man named Dr. Joel Wallach who is anything but your typical doctor, both a veterinarian and naturopathic physician. Doc asks, why does the United States spend more money on health care by far and still rank 50th in health and longevity worldwide? He believes that people should empower themselves with a basic understanding of nutrition, take charge of their health, and attain optimal health and longevity through nutrition, not by toxic prescription drugs that lead to side effects and more toxic prescription drugs. 
Doc Wallach's message is resonating with an increasing number of Americans who are waking up to all the big government, big pharma, and big insurance manipulation of our health care system. I'm George Dory, and I like what Doc Wallach is saying and doing to enlighten people about health care. Visit criticalhealthnews.com and listen to Dr. Wallach's Deadly Recipes Lecture. It makes a lot of sense, and I urge you to join our Critical Health News team. Go to criticalhealthnews.com. That's criticalhealthnews.com. Dr. Billy DeMoss of CalJam.org is our guest. If you go to Infowars.com forward slash CalJam or just follow any of the banners on Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com, uh, you can find select tickets that have been held back in the front section and then up in the top section. And I've seen these type of theaters. It doesn't matter where you're sitting. It's a beautiful theater. Uh, there are about one-third of the tickets left, and they just went on sale today to the general public. The other two-thirds are reserved to all the different uh, healthcare type folks, chiropractors, uh, nutritionists, and people that are going to be there. If you look at the incredible lineup of music and speakers, it's uh, mind-boggling. Uh, but you wanted to, instead of promoting CalJam, talk about your vision for CalJam, why you did it, and then the big fight in California, the bellwether, where they're trying to pass forced inoculation. I mean, as a kid, I grew up a big rock and roll fan. I mean, I, I grew up on Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, and there was this huge event out in Ontario called California Jam. And there would be literally this mass of people, 250,000 people, going to an event. And I just have always visualized if we could get people on the same plane of everything that you and I know and get them awakened and then empowered, then we can take that action to really make change in this world and go against the forces that are the global elite. My listeners are always saying, Alex, you, the key is to get music involved right, and right. comedy with political speech that's libertarian, anti-globalist, instead of it all being fake left-wing or right-wing. So that's basically your vision, and you're now doing it successfully. Well, you got to make it fun for people. I mean, if, if people come to the event, and it's like everybody there is a lover. They are Everybody's happy. But the, at the same time, we're all super serious about making change for this planet. And it, the only way we're going to, there's way more of us than there are them. So if we can collectively get more and more people into our boat, we can really actually make, make a, a mission to change what's going on. And it's got to shake up the system because they want to make it left or right. You can't put a label on a group of people like this. They are just some of the most awake for the general public are the type. Why are chiropractors so awake? I mean, I, every chiropractor I know I, I, that I run to on the street or on trips is a listener and knows more than I do, basically. Well, chiropractors have been brought up with a philosophy of vitalism, and we've never really been into taking drugs. So I think the more people are drugged up, i.e. from the very beginning with the vaccines, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, I mean, it just then more and more drugs are put on people. And, I, and literally, I think over time, it just dumbs people down, and, and they're not as in tune with reality anymore. And they're so susceptible to believing everything that they see on TV. I mean, I don't watch any TV. I'll watch your show. But... Other than that, I mean, I don't even own a TV because I don't want to get that daily brainwashing that everybody else gets to believe in all this fear that they try to sell and the agenda that they're trying to push us down. More and more, it looks like the agenda is starting to fail. That's why they're trying to double down and really force all of this. I think all the forced inoculations and forced fluoride, right. I think it's blowing up in their face. Right. I mean, that's the whole thing with this SB 277 in California. They know, in fact, where I'm so from, scary. Orange County, California, supposedly has the highest unvaccinated rate of any county in the United States. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take credit for it, but I have really been for 25 years teaching people in my community the truth about vaccines. And I've also really promoted other chiropractors in our neighborhood to do the same thing, to get out and teach this stuff. Because once people hear the truth, it's hard to believe the lies anymore. And then I just really try to get people to read and do their own research rather than blindly believing all the the drivel that they hear on mainstream media and all the stuff that the their pediatricians spout out because the pediatricians have been brought up in a system that's controlled by pharma pharmacia sure and it's just the system's rigged. all i know is i could hardly walk and i went to the chiropractor on a monday and on a wednesday 
they did all these adjustments, hooked up the electricity systems that, you know, relax the muscles and then did more x-rays. And my spine was back 80% where it was supposed to be. Then I came back a third time. They popped it completely back and I haven't been back. Right. Three visits. I said two. Two got it where it was almost better. Three visits, completely better. X-ray, spine straight. I'd already gone to the medical doctor and they wanted, they said, oh, you got to go have surgery. Oh, I mean, I hear uh, that all the time. I mean, that's, but I mean, miraculous. Right. So you have to be shut down. You're not a real doctor. Right, right, right. Just because I don't have an MD after my name. You just get such great results. Well, you know, until 80 years ago, there were four different types of doctors, you know, in the establishment. Now they only say MDs. Right. And, and, and the thing about Jeff Hayes that I was talking about, I, I think he'd be a great addition to one of your shows in the future. He did a movie called Doctor, where the actually the AMA came out with goals to contain and eliminate the chiropractic profession. I remember. I want to get him on. Yeah. yeah he would be great. And he's very articulate. And he's, he's got two great movies that are great for your viewers to see as well. Bought one of them. Well, all I know is uh, my uncle from a motorcycle accident was going to have to have surgery. He goes to a chiropractor once a month. He has his back pain's gone. I mean, I'm not here trying to sell chiropractic. It's just that they, they demonize it in the news all the time because it's such a good alternative. Right. But I want people to understand that you, you, we could take you to the next level of health by getting on a regular... Let's talk about that okay. when we come All back. Right, Stay with us. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com Oil of Oregano Formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market. Sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 the month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's begun and you can feel it. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines right, of the info go. war. Now we see the, uh, you got it. Now we see the, uh, the info war 
Jamstash.com and scroll down about a third of the way, you'll see a very powerful banner. California Jam, March 27th, 29th, 2015, the Truth Tour, tickets and live stream. Uh, it looks like it'll probably sell out by tomorrow. They just started selling tickets today. Go to Infowars.com uh, to find the tickets that we've had saved for our listeners. And if you can't be on the West Coast and go to this, then you can sign up uh, for the two-day event to see the scores of uh, people that are going to be there to see the live stream. California Jam, the Truth Tour, tickets and live stream, Infowars.com forward slash Cal Jam, C A L J A M, Infowars.com forward slash Cal Jam. And uh, you can also, of course, uh, just go directly to Infowars.com forward slash Cal Jam. Dr. Billy DeMoss is our guest. Now, listen, you're amazing during the breaks. You've been amazing on air, but uh, you're really talking about a lot of key stuff here during the breaks. Repeat all the stuff you just said, please, for the audience out there. Well, you want to talk about vaccines or chiropractic? Whatever, vac finish up with the vaccines, and then the chiropractic in your vision. All right, so I, I was on the phone with Sherry Tenpenny Friday. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, Dr. medical doctor. Who's, who spoke at Cal Jam last year. She was supposed to speak at Cal Jam this year, but she got a better offer to go to Australia, but then obviously she got banned down there because of the censorship down there. You knew that, right? Yes, incredible. Okay. And she was talking to me. I mean, the issue isn't about measles. It's about getting people to have basically they're pushing for compulsory mandatory vaccines. They're using this as foot in the door. Right. And because they've got 300 different vaccines in the pipeline. And then what they say is they whatever they deem is necessary for people to get, they're going to push on us. And so that means there's an endless supply of vaccines. And this is not about just the kids. This is about they're going to be going after the adults, too. So, I mean, one of my big issues has always been to get people to understand the reality with vaccines. And I mean, I'm you know, it's not that I'm anti-vaccine. I'm just, I'd be for any vaccine that, number one, that they prove is safe. And then after they prove to me it's safe, I want to see that it's effective. So they haven't done that. And by a third party, not by, you know, somebody, not the... And that's why they lie and always say, safe and effective, safe and right, effective, right, safe right, and effective. Right, 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 right. It's the same But then the insert over, reads, like a, over. reads like hell on earth. The insert right. reads like a nightmare. Right. And then with the chiropractic thing, like you, the way you've expressed it to me is most people look at chiropractic as just this band-aid kind of care, you only go when you hurt. I try to get people to understand that I'm really trying to elevate your natural expression of nerve potential by maximizing just alignment and postural issues, yeah. also using nutrition to promote longevity of the spine, because if you, the, the spine is everything and your posture is everything about your body's potential to express 100%. Is that called holistic chiropractic? That's holistic, right. Holism is just the body works together. I mean, look at how healthy and handsome Dr. Group is. He looks like he's 15 years younger he than He does. In person, he looks good on camera, but in person, it's just like, this guy glows. And I, I want that glow, so I'm trying to get there. Yeah, and I mean, other things that I mean, I try to teach my peeps in my practice is I really want people to live a healthier lifestyle. So we try not to get them to eat any GMO food. We hit GMO foods hard last year at Cal Jam. Uh, we try to get them to eat mostly organic. Uh, there's some supplements that we recommend. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, you know, get them he drinking healthy water, exercising, putting positive things into their brain and sleeping in a he healthy lifestyle. All that's going to increase your potential for health and give you greater resistance to disease. And the problem with the system that we currently have in place is medicine typically, and it's great in an emergency crisis. Medicine's great in it, but it has really nothing to do with health care. It really basically medicine deals and treats with symptoms and never really addresses the cause of people's problems. Keep rolling with it uh, because that's what I found with chiropractors and alternative health people is they're informed. They know about the studies. They know about the globalists. They know about the GMO. And if we can ever get that group even to a bigger audience, because it's already a huge dominant force in so many levels, they can be the people to lead what you would call leftists who are actually good people into seeing the big picture. And I think that's why the establishment's always attacking alternative health and, and nutraceuticals and chiropractors, because you guys really are the leaders uh, that could lead people, uh, you know, out of Egypt, basically. Right, right. Well, you look at the average chiropractor, they have thousands of chiropractors, I mean, thousands of patients in their practice. What we need to do as a profession is we need to lead those people and create that change. And get aggressive, because the system's coming after us. Fast and hard. I mean, I mean, it's, it's serious. This SB 277 scares me more than anything that's come along. Obama's about to ban the most popular bullet in America without an even executive order. Right. The, the, the FCC just took over the Internet 20 minutes ago.
Yay, they're going to protect it. No, now the FCC is over the Internet. The government wasn't over it before. Right. Huh. The other thing that scares me hmm. is this whole geoengineering issue. I'm going to be speaking about that in my speech, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and Dane Wagenkin is going to be at Cal Jam, who I love. I mean, he's a very eloquent speaker. He's got his stuff down. I mean, literally, I mean, I surf every day at home. That's one of the reasons I, I feel like that's my religion. It's also my spiritual contact. But it's, it's just so disheartening, and it's so frustrating for me to go surfing, and you'll go out, and it's a perfectly clear day, and then here come the jets, and it's just like you feel like you're a cockroach. NASA now right. says the Earth is 30% darker because of jet condensation trails, but there's something different about them. And we're not saying every condensation trail is a chemtrail, but it's going on. And then they admit there's all these secret programs going on. Right. Let us see the secret program, just like the secret FCC proposal right. that they're celebrating right now. Right. Oh. I mean, how obvious. It's secret. We're not going to tell you, but it's good. Right, right. Getting back into forced inoculations. I mean, they are really pushing this. What are we going to do when they try to forcibly inject us? That's a really good question. I mean... Is it going to come to a point where they're going to come to your house by gunpoint and start forcing people to get vaccinated? I don't know. You they know? do that in India and Africa, but people have they have uprisings, though. Right, and I think that's what they're really pushing for. I think they're pushing for, this is the, the straw that's going to break the back of people in, in, in the United States. It's going to push us into that police state martial law, which I think they want to go towards right now. Well, I know you've been doing Cal Jam for, what, eight, nine years? Eight years. And you're about to move to be doing more of these, right? Right, and that's the vision is I want to take it from this 3,000-seat arena and go maybe to a 25,000-seat arena to up to 15,000 seat. Well, 20, 30, 50,000. You know how to put these on. I can go and get two, 3,000 people to show up anywhere in the country. I don't like having to set it up. Do no, it. it's, a, it's super expensive to get the hotels, all of it. But when somebody like you comes along doing this, I would love you start doing more of these to partner with you and others to where six, seven, eight times a year we're in different major cities. Right. Then do one in Europe, do one, right. in, you know, because Take people need this. Right. People need to come together and feel the power of, of, of people coming together in agreement for healthy, uh, good lifestyle and real environmentalism. And make it fun and bring music into it. So that's one of my other visions is to get bands that are also on the same page that would be willing to work with us to, again, attract more people. Say if we got somebody like Aerosmith or Red Hot Chili Peppers to be at the event, we could really attract Well, more. I know the Aerosmith folks. I, I knew I, that's why I dropped that one in. And, 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 and I know a lot or of Tom Petty folks. or ACDC, get some band in there that's going to bring people in so we have a festival fun celebration, but then we're hitting, the we're hitting all the issues super I might be positive. able to get uh, Megadeth or, or maybe somebody like, you know, the uh, folks uh, from... Uh, I love Megadeth, but I don't think it's going to Yeah, be it might not fit in with that crowd. Yeah, Dave's probably listening right now. He, he's awesome. Billy Corgan would fit in probably good. Yes, he would. Aerosmith would do, be, be great. Yeah, like, yeah. i see if I can get them to do that. That's like herding cats. Right. But, well, that's what the chiropractic profession can be like sometimes. So that's why, I mean, I was talking to Jeff Hayes the other night. But actually, Aerosmith is right there in Southern California. I guess San right, Diego. Yeah. Right, right. It's not like we wouldn't pay them, but they probably wouldn't get what they typically get paid at a... You know. But that's what it's about. Instead of just getting musicians to go do the UN functions that raise money so Bono can pay 2% taxes and run off with it with Clinton, I mean, imagine doing something real just about getting the word out and the attention. If we ever get Hollywood and the music industry, what you're hitting at, to start promoting libertarian, transcendent ideas of not being part of this paradigm, it's over for the establishment. Right. Their entire grid is to keep us in this Madison Avenue, uh, Wall Street, uh, I guess you could call it, Times Square system where they immerse us in all their disinfo and basically keep us in the cave. Right. And we've got to resist it. We, there, I, there's definitely, I, in my opinion, it needs to be a revolution to some degree. Oh, I, but they don't call it a revolution when it's a peaceful idea revolution and it takes over. Right. They only bill revolutions as violent. Right. It can be a peaceful revolution through awareness and education. Guys, did you bring me my oh how letter we burned in the camps? Somebody bring me the famous quote of Alexander Solzhenitsyn. I want to end this hour on that point because I don't want us later as this tyranny accelerates. We're not going to wait long now. If we don't see a huge blooming of resistance peacefully, the globalists may be able to actually carry this out. Because even if we're awake and everybody submits uh, to it, we'll just be awake in the gulag. Let me read this quote right now. This is, of course, the famous Nobel Prize winner for literature, but it wasn't fiction. Um, his experience, you know, decades in a forced labor camp in Siberia 
Alexander Solzhenitsyn, who later left the U.S., saying that it was becoming what he'd uh, left in Russia. And he said, and how we burned in the camps later thinking, what would things have been like if every security operative, when he went out at night to make an arrest, had been uncertain whether he would return alive and had to say goodbye to his family? Or if during periods of mass arrest, as for example in Leningrad, when they arrested a quarter of the entire city, people had not simply sat there in their lairs, palling with terror at every bang on the downstairs door and at every step on the staircase, but had understood they had nothing left to lose and had boldly set up in the downstairs hall an ambush of half a dozen people with axes, hammers, pokers, and whatever else was at hand. The organs would very quickly have suffered a shortage of officers and transport, and notwithstanding all of Stalin's thirst, the cursed machine would have ground to a halt if, if we didn't love freedom enough. And even more, we had no awareness of the real situation. We purely and simply deserved everything that happened afterward. And Stalin killed over six million, seven million Russians just during the period we're talking about here starved to death around 10 million Ukrainians. That's why they have a real beef with Russia. But still, it doesn't mean the globalists are going to stir up a fight over there. We should see how they, how they play on these. I don't want to burn in the camps later. As they come with forced inoculations and gun confiscation and admit black sites in Chicago. An admitted black site in Chicago that's been going for 10 years where Guantanamo torturers, famous people, are at this facility. And they're disappearing people in who were dying, and it's not even a big news story in the U.S. It's London Guardian, Der Spiegel, Europeans are going, oh my God, America is Nazi Germany. Meanwhile, they've got this torture facility, and they train back and forth and send torturers to Iraq out of it. This is in the London Guardian. We're sending our reporters, Joe Biggs and uh, the, the, the valiant camera guy, Josh Owens, up there. And who knows? I mean, they may show up and videotape it, and they may disappear them. I mean, that's how crazy this place has gotten. Billy, what's your take on that? Well, I, I, I mean, you've covered a lot of things, and I'm, I'm not really typically in as much news as you because I'm so focused on everything that I'm doing. But I just really, I, my focus is on getting people to understand health and what they can Making do. it fun, transcending Making it fun, that. yeah. Because if you can get your body better with the simple stuff you and others and get are teaching, people thinking better. That, that, that raises your awareness. I think it's all about dumbing people down so they just have no realization of what's going on anymore. Well, I read that quote because you said revolution. Again, most violent revolutions are fail or they cause something worse. But right. they bill everything as a violent revolution hoping we'd go that way when we may have to if they try to put us in FEMA camps. But before that happens, let's fight with everything we've got in the info war, and that's what you're doing. Through awareness and empowerment. Talk about that. I mean, talk. Why are the people involved in what you're involved in glowing? It's just living a different lifestyle than most people in this on this planet live, especially in this country. I mean, can I talk about this? You told you told Anthony something. I mean, I, mean, I, and I didn't it. realize till I. He, I I was in back with Anthony Gucciardi, who's speaking, and he's going to be talking about Fukushima, which is another huge Which started issue. melting down last weekend. Right, again. I mean, when are people going to realize that we have to address some of these issues on the planet? But brother, you know about whatever you want. Yeah, but I mean, that's why. I want, to, I want people to know about geoengineering. I want them to know about Fukushima. I want them to know about G, uh, GMO. I want them to know about the, the forced vaccination and vaccines. I want them to understand things that they can do to elevate you, their health. You want to raise the alarm, but also give people stuff they can do? Right. I mean, the thing is, it doesn't make any sense to scare the living daylights out of people, but if they don't have anything to do to counteract it. So, I mean, I've been taking this super vitality, male vitality. And I also... By the way, we didn't ask you to do no, this. No, I know. Well, I was Just talking... Just Anthony this too. Right. I mean, this is not a plug. But, but I, it is a plug. I, well, it's a plug because it works. Because I, I've been going to this Dr. Elliot Thorpe, so who's going to sit at your table... We also have a, a gala where people can go to that. Uh, we do it in a really high uh, level restaurant right across the breezeway from the, the event where all the speakers going to be and she's going to sit at your table. She runs a longevity clinic in Tustin and I went there and she did all my numbers. And, you know, I was low on a couple things like copper. That's I think because I have this killer water system that gets all the copper out of the water. But she was like blown away. My testosterone was at 1,400, and I didn't know that was like super high number until I was talking to Anthony. My, I think most 56-year-olds, it's something like 300 or something. Yeah, and she wanted to know what I was doing. I was so I've been taking this super male, male vitality. Of course, I'm doing everything else. I'm getting adjusted. I work out every day. I mean, I eat pretty much raw paleo. So, I mean, it's, again, lifestyle. You don't have to age prematurely like most people in this country do. And I think that's the whole other thing with this whole vaccine agenda, the GMOs, the, uh, the geoengineering. I think it's really going to uh, 
create more. Uh, That's the plan. It's a suppressor. Yeah, more Alzheimer's as people get older, and then when we, get, when we get the Agenda 21 going thing going, and then we're just going to have forced euthanasia next. When did you specific? Because there'll be so many sick people that'll be. Oh, we have to. A third of the kids have autism or whatever in the future. When did you start taking super male vitality? Because I know you're a listener, but I'm flattered you got it. Thanks I would say group sent me about groups a good friend, a speaker at Cal Jam. He's been there the past three years. I love the dude to death. Uh, I've, I've probably been taking it for almost probably a half a year. Well, I mean, what what happened when you took it? I always like to take it before surfing because it makes me a little bit more, I don't know, aggressive, maybe not. Yeah, I take it before I work out. Yeah, I mean, it's great. It gives me more drive. It makes me feel younger. I don't know if those, it's, it could be placebo, but it works for me. Well, I mean, it's got a whole bunch of known herbs that are known to boost a bunch of stuff and just get your body going. Uh, and it's cold pressed and it's concentrated. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the average similar product's got about $3 a product in it. This one's got $18 a product in it. No one in the industry's doing that. That's why I, put, I developed this with a group who's you know, one of the biggest formulators in the right. country. Right. I do your iodine too. And the. Well, I appreciate your support because it's funding our operation, but it's also the, the listeners are getting and going, wow. But now I got to warn folks about the iodine. You will detox within two to three weeks. You will feel like crap for about a week. Everybody that takes. I didn't it, feel like. Crap for a week. That's because you're probably already so healthy. Right. I felt pretty bad. Yeah, you got it. Because I was taking it about six months before it came out. And it took, but How's your diet overall? Still hellish. Is it? Uh, when but, are we going to get you on the program? But, but, I mean, compared to what I was doing three years ago, big difference. Yeah. I mean, it's not that hard. The weird thing is I don't want to go. I never finish my food now at a restaurant. I mean, I'm full easier, and I'm just slowly losing the weight now. Because we've got to keep you around, man. Well, i got to do a shot because i got a big, big head, so it looks like a little... <laughs> If I take my clothes off, which we're going to do some shots and show it, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I mean, I look like a bodybuilder now. It's, I'm, I'm getting, I'm not even trying to get big. It's, it's the exercise and the, and the products. Yeah, you got to exercise. But my problem is I already have a big frame. Yeah. So it's, it's just I got a lot more muscle and a lot less fat. We got to get uh, Dr. Group adjust you more on the show too. When well, he comes to town, he does it. That's one reason I'm, I'm going to adjust you after the show. Thank you, because 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 yeah. I then you got to catch your plane though. Yeah, I got to catch a plane. But uh, you're awesome. We're going to come right back, ladies and gentlemen. Infowars.com forward slash CalJam. Dr. Billy Demos is our guest, and we'll also give you uh, his website as well. He'll be with us 20 minutes of the next hour. Then I'm going to hit the huge net neutrality news and take your phone calls. It's bad news, unfortunately with our guest, Dr. Billy DeMoss, infowars.com forward slash CalJam, or follow the banners to find the limited tickets that are left, but they've got them spaced out at the gala, down in the front rows, and also up in the gallery. Uh, so there's a smattering of tickets, uh, a full spectrum of tickets still available, uh, but I predict it will sell out very, very quick, so you can sign up for the live stream as well and watch it anywhere in the world and help support these type of events that, believe me, the system is definitely scared of. This is a short segment, long segment coming up. We're going to be taking calls after our guest leaves us. They passed the FCC regs. Congress didn't. The FCC refused to testify to Congress. The chairman, they just did what they wanted. Another executive power grab. In the name of protecting the web. Hillary Clinton supports it. What does that tell you? Will we see the 322 pages? We'll find out. The toll-free number to join us on that issue and everything else we've raised, first-time callers, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Doc, uh, we only got four minutes to break or so. You've got the floor on the issue of some of your heroes you wanted to talk about. I also wanted to talk about one of my favorite speakers, who will be Deet Harrison, who's the most published chiropractor uh, when it comes to corrective care. It's just we have this epidemic, and I wanted him to talk about the epidemic of just this forward head posture. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, have that. I go through the airport, and it's literally you see everybody's so addicted to, you know, their phones. And, you know, that's I have to over this mic. Well, yeah. So what we try to do is teach you things to do to counteract that. So I, I'm really excited. He's what do they call that slouch? There's a name. And, and then Typhosis. There's a name of the back hump. Oh, yeah. Dowager hump. Yep. Yeah, they're sexy, huh? Yeah. No, uh, mine is like 80% gone. Okay, good. I started getting you got to really sure. work on, yeah, that's why surfing's good, because it... The problem is I look that. like really arrogant when I actually stand up like I'm supposed to, but I guess it's how, I mean, this is what I really look you like. You can do that, though. You look good like that. I mean, this is what, but I mean, you can't get a suit big enough. I mean, my shoulders and chest are ridiculous. But this is it. Here, I'll just sit here normal. Yeah. I also wanted to talk about Jeff Hayes, because I think he'd be <laughs> great on your show. Yeah. Because, I mean, he, I put that, he's got... Cojones, can I say that on your show? Huevos. Huevos. He's got big huevos. Walnuts. He took a full page out in the Wall Street Journal, kind of in Obama's face, 
about this whole vaccine initiative, about the GMO, about Big Pharma. And I think, no, I don't think, it's a great film for everybody to get a chance to watch. He's got it streaming live now. Uh, by the way, we sell uh, Doctor. It's funny you sell mention Doctor, that. but you should get bought on there, too. I want to get bought, yeah, InfoWars Store. I think you just go to boughtmovie.com. You can watch that movie for free. Awesome. Boughtmovie.com. He's streaming it. Yeah. That's what I love about you guys. I do the same thing. We sell the DVD if you want to support us, but we just give the films away for free because that's the real joy. We got to get it out, man. You know, we We're going to lose everything. Right. This is a war. It's a huge war. Why do you think these globalists want to suppress us? Well, obviously, I know why. It's de isn't it a depopulation yep. issue? I mean, they want to. That's get what I like about chiropractors. You guys are pro-human. The globalists are anti-human. Right. And I mean, they want to decrease the population down to 500 million. I mean, that's the bottom line. You know, when we why, I, the thing is, why is it such conspiracy theory? When they openly say it. Well, yeah, when they openly say it, and when you bring stuff up like geoengineering or different topics. And we won't talk about those topics because I don't want to ostracize myself any further than I already have. But <laughs> it's just, to, to us, it's so blatantly obvious. Why is it so hard for some people just to grasp some of these things? Because that's why women would get in the car with Ted Bundy. He just was wearing a suit, and it was a nice little Volkswagen, <laughs> non-threatening. And people just can't believe it's happening. The history of chiropractic is so interesting. Can we? Can you briefly give us the history of it when we come back? Yeah, we can do that. I'd because, love to do because that. I would be honored to do that. I don't think I've ever met a chiropractor who wasn't more awake than the general public or wasn't super awake. My and little nephew, Cole, 16 years old, is more awake than 95% of adults out there. So understand, who are the leaders of the proto-chiropractic movement that every time I turn around, the people fighting the New World Order are chiropractors. I want to find out why statistically, just from my own experiences, that is the most awake group. Stay with us. Uh, the FCC chief is refusing to still talk to Congress after he put regulations through, won't testify. And last time I checked, you guys are looking, right? They will not. They have not released the 322 pages yet. Correct? Yeah, so we're ferreting that out. This is unbelievable. Uh, I would search engine... Um, FCC 322 in Google News and see if that's anywhere. That is a major issue. I mean, this is so dastardly now. They do it in secret. Obama's behind it. George Soros gives $196 million with the Ford Foundation for disinfo to get leftist groups who mean well. They think they're protecting the Internet when all this does is put the government over it. Unbelievable. And now he still won't testify before Congress. That is mind-blowing. We have another video, police confront open carry activists for engaging in constitutional BS. I can't say the word. Uh, that's just some of it. I don't even know what to say anymore. It, it, it is just crazy. This world is going nuts, Billy. Hell in a handbag, baby. The history of chiropractic, as we were talking about earlier, so many times it's chiropractors and their, and their associates and allied you know, health type people that are fighting tyranny. And, and, and they would be classed, in, in many cases, as kind of leftist sure, or, or moonbeamy, but right. that's not really what's happening. Well, it's just, I mean, I, we're more aware because we have a completely different paradigm of health. I mean, we're not into drugging every problem that a person has, and I think that gives us greater clarity, and it gives us a chance to actually realize what's going on. I mean, most chiropractors are highly anti-vaccine. I mean, so from the very beginning, our kids aren't being poisoned and maimed. And dumbed down, in my opinion. But they're all, but you were saying earlier, but they're also into they're super nutraceuticals. health stuff, right? Yeah. yeah, nutraceuticals. We're also into just the lifestyle. I mean, I juice every day. I use a Vitamix every day. All those things to help contribute to elevate my health, not treat disease. It's all about. And you got the testosterone of an eighteen-year-old. Well, I, I didn't know that till today. You guys told me that. So I, I, I mean, you knew it was fourteen hundred. You just didn't know. I just know that was a great number. Like just Dr. Elia Thorpe told me that that it was like fourteen hundred. She wanted to know what I was doing. So she said she hadn't seen one that high in a while. Maybe that explains why some of my hair fell out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something tells me you already had. But the history of chiropractic goes back to like it, it was founded in eighteen ninety five, and you know it, it was all about just helping people. And then we the chiropractors started actually going to jail for practicing medicine which we never ever wanted to practice medicine. We, we're giving people an alternative to medicine. And it's it, it, basically, we're trying to teach people to live a different lifestyle than the allopathic lifestyle, which is great for emergency and crisis care. Well, I tell you, I'm excited.
about what you're doing. I can't wait to speak at Cal Jam. Now, obviously, it's going to sell out. So if people don't want to go or can't get tickets right now, they should go sign up uh, for the two-plus-day event. All these incredible speakers to be able to sit there and watch it and archive it and have it because it's it, it's also important to financially support these events. It is not cheap to put these on. I've done no, it myself. No, no, that's not cheap. And there's so much time that myself and Jane have put into this event. I mean, it's a full-time job. And I'm just asking people that come just to support it. And it's a, just a mere pittance what you're paying to be there. But at the same time, we have to create this movement and resistance. And, and, and everybody that comes. We have to network. Yeah, comes and has the most amazing time. Because it's, it's not only the information, it's a celebration. And everybody's, you know, hugging. And it's just a love fest. And people come and we have two different parties. The gala, then we have a disco party one night. We have three different bands. It's it, it's a great time for people to come. And it's in California, which doesn't hurt. I mean, I was on the beach yesterday with 75. I was surfing in 63 degree water. It's a great time to come to California for some of these people that live up in, you know, the tundra of Wisconsin or something. It gives them a chance to take a little, take a vacation once in a while, too. Absolutely. Speaking of the tundra, I misspoke earlier, and, and Jakari corrected me out in the hall. Thank God. I love having him in there on the show to pop in and stuff breaks. So he's not just a reporter and an anchor. He's also uh, wants to work on the show. So we appreciate it. He's in there doing a great job. He said, hey, uh, you're wrong. Joe Biggs and some of the other guys were telling me too. Joe Biggs and Josh are not gone. The airports are shut down in Chicago from the record snow and all the rest of it. So they're going to fly out later to investigate the secret gulag. But there they are claiming now that global warming is going to kill everybody. And again, obviously climate change is real. It's always happening. Mm -hmm. And it becomes this left-right debate. But now scientists are in the Guardian saying, no, there's weather modification going on. That might be what's doing stuff. You know, do we ever think about weather weapons? And that's going to be at the conference as well. Right. With Dane Wigington on GEO. We've got a few minutes left here. Uh, other points you'd like to get into? I mean, I think we've had everything pretty much. I mean, I, I, if people want to come and really learn so many more things that they can do and apply it to their lives to increase their health and vibration. And also, again things that they can do in their own communities to teach more people about things that both you and I need or have talked about. It's just important for us collectively to come together as a human race to perpetuate and sustain this planet for our children and future generations. Well, when you talk about vibration, when I was a 10, 11 years old, had a bad attitude sometimes, I'd say, Dad, why is everybody like you? Why do people give you free stuff at restaurants? And why do... <laughs> Why do, why do you know, women at checkout counters try to get your phone number? And why does everybody like you so much? And then people are rude and mean to me. And he said, because I'm smiling and have a good attitude and putting that off. Right. And he goes, you know, sound like you go to a football pep rally and everybody gets excited. You feel that energy. He goes, that's spirit. Right. Uh, and he goes, whether it's pheromones or letting off, whatever, you've got to have a good attitude. And that's the difference between somebody who has this bad attitude about everything, somebody who has a good attitude. Right. When I bring out all this negative stuff, it's not because I'm being negative. It's like saying, we have a wonderful world full of great people that you know, God gave us. Of course. We don't want the bad guys with all their fear and all their garbage to take over. We're covering what's bad, but saying we can change it, we can stop it. Right, because there's way more of us than there are them. That's, the, that's how we're going to win this war. Well, there's, they're certainly scared. Well, that's good to know. Sometimes I get scared. What about you? You know, every time I start getting, it's mainly like a fire under my butt. I just want to take action. I get scared that I'm not living to my potential. I get scared. Sometimes I leave here at, you know, five, six o'clock. Sometimes I stay down here till midnight working. I haven't done that in a long time just because the family stuff I've been having to deal with and a lot of other issues uh, but, and more executive things I have to do. But I would just, sometimes I get up in the middle of the night. Yeah, and, I did that last night. And go write an article or go climb up, climb a billboard and spray paint it. I'm joking. I don't do that. <laughs> you know, if it's a big vaccine billboard, no, that's somebody else in the office. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm joking. Uh, uh, uh. No, but sometimes I just I get spurred into action. Right. Put up 500 InfoWars, uh, you know, bumper stickers uh, over city propaganda. Oops. Uh, I mean, I didn't do that. I'm sorry. I'm going to be like Pinocchio here in a minute. Yeah, exactly. But, no, I mean, I physically go out and take action. I talk at, when I'm in a grocery store line. Right. When Everywhere am, you go. Yeah. And, and it's everywhere. not work. I can't stop. It's not work. That's what people call me an alcoholic. Not an alcoholic. Workaholic. It's I get up the minute I get up to the minute I go to bed. I get up at 7 and I go to bed sometimes at 2 o'clock in the morning. And it's just living and breathing this stuff. 
because you've got this inner drive and this purpose to get people to understand what both you and I know. Well, that's what I pick up around you and Dr. Group. I mean, I had met you, I'd seen your videos and heard some of your great speeches, but as soon as I met you, it was like the energy was just so positive and good. And I think more and more, I got negative for about 10 years, thought they were gonna come after me any minute, which they were. So I just started eating whatever I wanted to, not caring, drinking too much beer, you know, being a good father. But other than that, I was living a horrible life. Right. And now talking- and we need you, man. Talking to group and others in the last two years and Dr. Wallach and, and Longevity, InfoWarsHealth.com, I've started turning that ship around and now it's getting easier and easier every week. I see the changes. I'm getting better changes in a week now than I would get in a month before. And is that how it works? It accelerates the change? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's not gonna happen overnight, obviously. You know, you've gotta start implementing things slowly. I, I, I try to teach people in my practice that you wanna slowly implement, because if people try to do everything all at once and they're gonna get frustrated, they're gonna stop doing it. So it's a matter of just maybe eating a little bit more fruit once a week or going out for a 30 minute walk and, you know, get adjusted more frequently and get better rest and sleep. And the thing is, once you start that, that ship turns around, like you said, it's hard for you to go back the other way because then you start to feel like you used to feel. I mean, there's a certain clarity that you have in your life if you live this lifestyle that we've been talking about. And once you start to put in the crap and garbage, like last night I had a little cheese for dinner, I can feel the fact that I had dairy products. But sometimes when you're on the road, it's- Well, impossible. also the mold is off of the world record chart. They say the worst ever in Austin, the mold right now. Is it? It's, it's black mold that grows on the oak trees. It is just everywhere. I think it was cheese for me. Well, no, I mean, exactly. They say the cheese triggers the histamines, right? Yeah. So I think the cheese and the, and the mold, yeah. Right. I mean, I just know. I mean, I can tell, oh, that's mold. And I look on the news, mold, record level. I go, oh, that's cedar. So, so can we get you out surfing when you're in California? Uh, I'm kind of a, a big klutz, but I'll try. All right. We'll get you a big board. Stand up for the TV viewers, though, because you look like, uh, you look like, uh, like a commando or something. And you you're, said a Secret Service dude. Isn't that well, I, I said a CIA assassin. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Actually, when you see these big guys with shaved heads, those are the ones you got to be scared of. But when I've been like at Bilderberg Group events and stuff, the guys that actually cause you big problems look just like you. Yeah, good. And, but uh, I'm, and I'm they dress me. just like you. Yeah. <laughs> you think learn these types and government types, but no, no, no. It's just that you got to watch the wiry guys that are, you know, all muscle and but have a friendly face. Like the fake tough guys are all acting tough, and the guy acting real friendly is one you got to look out for. I don't mean you so much. Right, right, right. I'm just saying the whole friendly. I'm a lover, dude. Feeling good in your skin. Right. You fit the archetype of like a CIA killer. Yeah, good. That's a good thing. I'm, I'm a I tough guy. It. Yeah. I I, people won't pick on me then, right? That's right. And I bet you have no trouble with the ladies. Well, we, no. But I have one. I'm, I'm a single. I mean, I'm a, I've got my lady. <laughs> We're all covered. <laughs> all right. Uh, Dr. Billy DeMoss in studio, Infowars.com forward slash Cal Jam. Hope to see you out there and watch on the streams. We're going to get into the hardcore news and your phone calls on the other side of this break. Infowars.com, spread the word. You are the revolution, you are the resistance. I'm really glad my buddy Mark turned me on to GunsAD.com. I got to tell you, I didn't want to buy any more firearms. I didn't want a paperwork trail headed back to Big Brother. I want 100% privacy. I want to be an invisible gun owner. Hello? So Mark says, hey, you know, GunsAD.com, Ghost AR-15. Ghost means invisible. Get it? Ghost AR-15. GunsAD.com. I got a couple, if you know what I mean. Go to GunsAD.com or call 844-2-GUNS-80. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. As the new world order continues to tighten its grip on every facet of our lives, we're all asking ourselves, how can we maintain our independence? The answer is clear. Get prepared and you get prepared now. Now the only question left is where do we begin? My Patriot Supply is here to help. Call 800-247-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. We're even covering the cost of shipping. Are you willing to rely on the government and FEMA in the event of an emergency? 
Call 800-274-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. You won't be able to find this deal online, and there is a strict limit of four per caller, so don't wait. Call now, 800-274-3070. That's 800-274-3070. Call right now. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com Oil of Oregano Formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market. Sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 it's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's togethersave.com. Togethersave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. Togethersave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at togethersave.com. More and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body. And there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit ALKAVision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com. Well, the FCC chairman has been celebrating for an hour and a half the ramming through of their still secret internet takeover plan with George Soros and the Ford Foundation, the usual suspects financing it. I'm your host, Alex Jones, if you just joined us. Well, I told the guys, I said, watch, I've learned enemy tactics. If we don't make a big deal about this, they won't release it for months. If we make a big deal, you heard me on air talk about this, they'll release it tomorrow. They want to just say, we save the internet. Ding dong, the witch is dead. The witch, 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 the witch, witch, witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. No, the wicked witch just got the feds to be able to power grab the whole internet. I mean, look out. And Aji Pai, uh, the, one of the commissioners, said, quote, immediately release a 332-page internet regulation plan publicly and allow the American people a reasonable period of not less than 30 days to carefully study it. That request was denied. We'll post the document here when it's available. And what publication is that out of? That's out of NPR. So, of course, if you're not going to release it before they pass it regulatorily, why ever release it? Just like Obama said, I'll never sign the NDAA. <clears throat> 2011 turned out his lawyers had written it. And he was twisting arms to get it passed. And then he signed it on December 31st at 11 o'clock at night from Hawaii. So no one would notice. These are criminal tactics. Now, I really wish that Joe Biggs and um, crew were able to get into Chicago to cover this. The global cooling with the sun right now cooling off is so bad that they're in feet of snow. Every one of their airports is shut down, the flights are canceled. This is a disaster. We'll get them in this weekend. We'll cover it Sunday live with live feeds. And we need to have live feeds because it'll be a major incident though they end up arresting Biggs uh, or um, Josh Owens. And you've seen Josh with the feds aiming guns at him, threatening to shoot him, still walk forward with his camera. We've got these guys have a major, major guts. But here it is, Gestapo Tactics, New London Guardian article, at U.S. Police Black Site, imagine these headlines. 
biggest paper in Europe. It's not just the biggest paper in England. It's undoubtedly the biggest paper in Europe, the English paper everybody reads, because English is the second language across Europe. That's how they all communicate with each other. If you're German and French, you don't communicate in German and French, you communicate in English. That's why they don't want the poor illegals to ever learn English. And they have these programs to stop them learning English because it's such a boon to help them. Totally sick, but side issue. Gestapo tactics at U.S. police black site ring alarm from Chicago to Washington, and then they have video and photos of police in military gear with a mask basically threatening them not to take pictures. I mean, you can't make this up. This is Illinois where they tried to pass a law, life in prison for videoing police. Remember that? I mean, this is so entitled and screwed up. And then they have famous torturers. In fact, that's in my stack from yesterday if somebody can pull it. Thank you. Famous torturers, it's all highlighted. Richard highlighted it for me yesterday. Who've been sent to run torture operations working with Rumsfeld from Chicago. And then they come back to this facility. You cannot make that up. And see, all these cops probably think they're good guys. They watched Jack Bauer for 10 years on 24, where he tortured someone every episode with drills or whatever the case was to always stop the terrorist. And now they take you, non-terror related, be bad enough if you were a supposed terrorist, and they take you to a block site. And let me tell you, I was in Chicago in 2006 at a, at a meeting speaking, and we were on the street videotaping an interview just with a handheld camera, and the cops walked over and said, don't videotape on the street. And I said, listen, I'm just, you know, doing like a five-minute interview with this guy. We're not blocking anything. And he says, he just said, listen, I'm not going to tell you again. And I could tell he was a criminal. I mean, I, I knew when somebody was serious, he wanted to hurt me. He said in a nonchalant way, he just looked at me, he goes, listen, don't do it again. Put that camera up. You're not going to like what happens. And I could tell he wanted to hurt me. He knew who I was. He was a gangster. And I went, man, I said, I'm going to go on down the street into this interview because I got stuff to do. And I, I'm deciding not to fight this battle now. And by then he was arguing with me. I said, I just said, hey, your kids got to live in this country too. Are you threatening my kids? And I go, you know what I did. You're threatening your kids. And he said, I just, he goes, you did the right thing, Mac, not turning that camera back on. I mean, what a thug. What North Korea, man. I mean, holy Toledo. What a dishonorable sack of traitorous pus that you disgrace everybody else in the uniform. And let me tell you, Chicago's got a problem. And I'll tell you why they got a problem. It's a bunch of hardworking immigrants from all over the world. Even when Chicago got started by Irish and German and Polish and Czech and, you know, and then all the Mexican immigrants and the Italians and all of them. It's a really cool city and everybody's real nice in ways. I like Chicago. It has a good feel in, in, in a lot of its areas. L.A. has a horrible one to me. Sorry. So, south of that feels great. North of that feels great. But it's because the people are so nice, they put up with it. So, see... It's almost like they've had hospitality to the tyranny, and the cops think they're God, and it's a shame. It's disgusting. We'll be back. Stay with us. We're on the march. Black the sites in America. On the run. I mean, come on. Alex Jones and the GCN. And where's the U.S. Network? media? That's why we're in so much trouble. Where are they? The month of February is all about Valentine's Day. Big heart-shaped boxes filled with delicious candy. What if we the Patriots hijacked Valentine's Day and instead made it about human liberty and individual empowerment? I'm all about human potential. I'm all about the individual being empowered. The establishment is the opposite. That's why they spike our water with fluoride and GMO estrogen mimickers and the rest of the garbage. InfoWars is striking back in the month of February with Human Empowerment Month. How we can come together and win the human race. And to celebrate the kickoff of Human Empowerment Month, we're slashing prices on InfoWarsLife.com products like Super Male and Super Female Vitality. The sale is only running for the month, 20% off, and there's a lot of other powerful specials at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWarsLife.com, celebrating human potential in the month of February. Visit InfoWarsLife.com to find this special and many others in the month of February. Again, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. 
we have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market. Sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients. Extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules, you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. Wild crafted from the Mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire. This winter season, it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. The Alex Jones Show. Because there is a war on for your mind. Well, the huge news, and I'm going to your phone calls. FCC votes yes on strongest net neutrality rules, but they won't release what the rules are. I mean, this is a giant screw job because they want to just announce the FCC protected it when it really just took it over. And that's the tactic. You know, they call it Obamacare free health care. It's the opposite and lets insurance companies take over health care so they can really hammer everybody and screw everybody over and now you're seeing the results of it we've now in deeply investigated the article that shocked me an hour and a half ago that i saw go up at drudgereport.com we have it linked up at infowars.com with some uh, added uh, background and videos for folks to get the full picture uh and uh right now uh we are uh, adding uh, some to this story so that folks can understand exactly what's happening. But 223 is a very uh, versatile round. But for game hunting, it doesn't go out as far. It starts losing its trajectory. And so these particular green tips, as they call them, that they call armor piercing, have a tungsten tip and more lead in them so that they'll go further. So it's not designed to be a, quote, cop killer. But it doesn't matter. All bullets are cop killers. So once you start banning certain bullets, calling them cop killers, it's Katie Bar the door. So that article's up on Infowars.com right now. I want to get our own articles out explaining how this is a camel's nose under the tent flap, like everything else they do, to set the precedent that by executive action, Obama can restrict guns and ammo. There's no law here. They're just doing this. Comprende? So it's on. Notice Obama's moving on every front with executive power. Open borders, internet takeover, kill switches, energy, wars, military operations. And the Republican leadership in Congress went along with this and said they wouldn't block it. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, Infowars.com with that info. Because... Uh, because there's a war on for your mind. I, I'm, I'm actually speechless at this point. <sighs> Absolutely speechless at this point. It, it's all just moving into high gear. More is happening in a few months now than what happened in a year previously. More is happening in a year what happened in 10 years. And it's just going to accelerate and accelerate. Every expert agrees that's where we're going. 
and they're getting ready for a total takeover. They admit black sites, FEMA centers, Emergency Centers Establishment Act, civilian inmate labor camp program. They got forced labor plans on the books, and they've got them set up at Army bases and listed at Army.mil. And I sent all this to the talk show host five years ago that was saying I was a liar. And, they did, and, and, and then I learned from their people that their crew got the info and was like, yeah, it's real. And the host said, no, it's not, and went on air and said I was full of bull and showed some debunked FEMA camp that we hadn't reported on to say we were debunked. And I'm not even attacking those hosts. Man, I, I, I want to get all these mainline conservative hosts to, to save the country. I mean, if we all just start saying no, we're very close to the tipping point here. But, in fact, I know a lot of these hosts are telling the truth now more and more because they realize they're going to have to leave the country of the globalist win just because you claimed you were a conservative. Just because you claimed you were a patriot, you're an enemy of the globalist. You don't make deals with these people. How could anybody sleep at night working with the globalist and then thinking they're going to leave you alone? The only reason I'm still alive is the grace of God, your prayers. There's a lot of reasons. They don't want to highlight everything I've said and done, make me a martyr, blah, blah, blah. They just want to assassinate my name first. They just want to destroy the idea of a liberty movement first. That's why we stand up for other activists they're trying to destroy. Because we're all in this together. But one of the biggest reasons, too, is they know there's good people throughout the system that are watching and are leaking info on what the criminal government's doing. So what's scary is they've gone from trying to cover this stuff up in just the last five years to just admitting it now. I mean, they basically came out in uh, Chile, or it was Argentina, and admitted that the government was connected to killing that investigator that was about to go public. They just come out now and go, yeah, fluoride makes you depressed and fat and bad thyroid and suicide, top journals, top newspapers, and it still just stays in the water. I mean, their tactic now is they can't cover it all up, so they say, yeah, black site. Yeah, people have died in there. Yeah, we don't let you talk to lawyers or anyone know where you went, sometimes for days. Yeah. Yeah, it's total felony, totally illegal. We're just doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. That's right. And if they can chicago eyes, we're on two stations in Chicago, so that's a paradox. We got two stations there, great listeners, awake people, but the system doesn't care. It's entrenched doing whatever it wants. But they're coming after all the alternative media. I'm going to your calls here in about 45 seconds. I just want to say this first. We have 20% off super male and super female vitality. The super male at current rates will sell out in about three, four days. And it looks like it'll be a couple weeks till we get more of the super male produced, cold pressed, prepared. We have enough super female to keep selling it for a few weeks. We're going to have to remanufacture that. We're in that process right now. So the sale's been so successful, there's two days officially left in it. I may just continue it if it doesn't sell out in two days, you know, a couple more days, till the super male is completely sold out. And you've heard the rave reviews. You've heard what it does. Just try it, and then you know you're supporting the broadcast. Regardless, now it took me about a year and a half to get my tolerance up. I would take half the recommended dose. Now I take more than recommended dose. You do what you want. But um, it's a whole bunch of known, concentrated, cold-pressed stuff that knocks your socks off. Developed by Dr. Group, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. We also have the free bottle of herbal defense, ancient defense herbal immunity booster. By right side, our discount brand line that we're coming out with that's well-known, documented, concentrated organic herbs and other extracts, but that aren't super, super fancy pants and hard to get, that are easy to source. We can give you it for $14.95. That similar formulas are about $30, bucks, so it's about half off. We're going to have an entire discount line called Right Side, part of InfoWarsLife.com. You can get a free bottle of that when you get two bottles of the nascent iodine X2. There's no iodine like it out there. And quite frankly, the X2 is set to sell out of this sale continues because these sales go so well that then we don't 
produce enough, then we got to make enough, then we got too much. You can't ever judge the public. Because, you know, we buy a bunch and then nobody buys it. And then we don't have a lot and everybody buys it. it. It's just, there's no telling the public's taste, as has been said many, many times. But the public likes stuff that works. We salute you and thank you for all your support. Because your support, getting the nutraceuticals, the Made in America t-shirts, the videos, the books, the PrisonPlanet.tv memberships, it funds this independent operation. We don't get big globalist sponsors. So you have us sponsoring us with the high-quality water filters. That special ends in two days. 15% off with promo code WATER. Okay, let's go to William in North Carolina. Thanks for holding. You're on the air. Well, since you just did a plug on your products, I've got a nice little um, slogan for uh, Super Male Vitality. Promise it's clean, but it, it goes something like this. Do you want to wake up every morning with a great big smile? Super Male Vitality. Hey, I've got um, a couple of... <laughs> <laughs> I've got a couple of uh, ideas that I think would work really well for you. And um, one would be a Terra Drive, okay, that you could sell as a product, an InfoWars Terra Drive, and have it basically kind of a time capsule just in case the Internet gets totally censored and have this Terra Drive totally packed with vital information. Or it could be a thumb drive with compressed stuff like key documents, key crimes of the globalist. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, even even a thumb drive, but uh, you know, some documentaries. You know, it, it wouldn't even have to be yours because I mean, you can just download that stuff off YouTube. You know, have have some of yours, have some, just some vital documentaries. Just a um, that is a censorship. fabulous idea. We should produce like thirty of those. Or it wouldn't mind it need to be a whole Terra drive, but but hard drives with with all of Infowars, all our films, uh, other key documents, so that people have that information. Everybody should be saving stuff now, though, because we knew this was always coming. Now it's here, and I'm telling you. They're getting all this lined up and in, and in law before they set off the weapons and blame it on the Patriots. And then, my goodness, they got the police all dressed up for combat to play red coat, and I just don't think it'll be a very fun thing. What do you think? Yeah, I've been, I've been uh, doing that very thing for the past several years. I've been downloading YouTube videos and PDFs and any kind of documentary I can find. But I've got a couple other ideas for you. Um, another thing would be maybe a line, um, InfoWars Household. Because, you know, the cleaning product, all the cleaning products everybody uses are totally toxic and, you know, full of garbage. So that might be something to, for you to consider. And then the other idea that I had was, you know, you talked about all these uh, uh, Internet censorship tactics where they uh, claim copyright and they censor a video because you used a clip of, like, Anderson Cooper or something from CNN. I think it would be a good idea to make um, some YouTube videos that are actually playlists instead of a YouTube video, because that way, if you wanted to show a clip that, that you thought might be something they would try to censor it for, it would actually just be part of your playlist, and then you could actually include footage. Exactly. I mean, the key is, expose this as a Trojan horse. Why aren't they releasing it even after they announced it, so they can now lie and say what's in it? They're telling us what's in the book, but not letting us read it. Uh, it's just standard George Soros operation. Thank you so much, William. Great points. Uh, let's go now to another caller. Let's talk to John in Canada. John, they're trying to pass a Patriot Act up there as well. The worldwide system moves forward against free humanity. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Um, you have the, the FCC down there, and we have the CRTC up here. And uh, with the new terror bill, they can suppress any altern uh, alternate media. They actually uh, say they can the break FCC. in your house, do illegal things, shut down media. We were, we were covering that legislation yesterday. I mean, this is getting crazy. Even I can't believe they're actually doing it. I mean, they're really going to try to start rounding people up and stuff. It's going to get crazy. <laughs> but the thing is, I, I look at the history of the FCC, and the FCC was basically started by big corporations that wanted to push out these little independent yep. radio stations that were all across America, right? Yep. So it's, it's the same thing with the pharmaceutical inter industry. It's the same with everything. It's just America, I noticed that the government, your federal government, is actually a corporation. That was incorporated. That's right. The big corporations can't get regular end of net neutrality. So now they're having the government act like they're trying to save it. And so the very Republicans that don't want net neutrality are now supposedly supporting this because it gives them what they want. It's a total screw job and everybody's going to find out. Exactly. You know, and, and this is how corporations treat people. Right. <laughs> so, uh, well, what can you do? Right. You, well, you the problem with these with these predatory corporations is they're they're discrediting reasonable companies and free market. They're monopoly capitalists that are using government to shut down their competition and people better get mad. It doesn't mean they're going to get this now. The FCC. Let's get one thing clear. Thanks for the call, John. Great points. Let's get something clear here right now. 
they're not releasing these pages still so they can lie to everybody and tell them what was just passed. But it's worse than that. Congress is who makes law, not the FCC with some reg. Obama now says he's going to go out for the bullets and the guns with announcements. Congress does that. The president executes the law, not the ATF. The FCC, the ATF, they're not the law givers. We elect our representatives, our servants, who then pass constitutional laws, which they don't. They're passing a bunch of garbage. But they couldn't even get Congress to do this because the bill, or at least parts of it from committee, would be public. Just like the last six amnesty plans under Bush and Obama were secret. But Senator Sessions, who's a hero in my view, has released it every time. Well, this time they won't give Congress the 322 pages, and now it hasn't been released. And why is that? Because they couldn't get this agenda through if they didn't have the public unaware of it. And now, here's the bigger secret. It shows how weak they are with all these global treaties and this FCC power grab that they still haven't released it. So Time Magazine and CNN can announce, Obama saved the internet, long live our king. It shows that the fight goes on. We need to make Congress move in and block this and go after companies that are lobbying for it. We're gonna watch all this, we're gonna give you the intel. This is the war for free speech. This is the war for the internet you're seeing unfold right now. And that's the talking point for everybody because it's the truth. This is a war on our free speech. And folks, if they get that, they're gonna get the second, they're gonna get the fourth, they're gonna get the fifth, the tenth, the ninth, they're gonna get everything. We're being usurped, we're being conquered, we're being overtaken right now. But we're kicking their butt on fluoride and GMO and homeschooling and a thousand other fronts. Joe in New York, you're up next. Thanks for calling. Uh, Fema Region 2, that is, Alex. Yes, sir, formerly New York. Oh, that is correct. I badgered my reps of trying to get them to vote. Being, I'll be from New York. You know, it's Nita Lowy, Elliot Engel, Chuck Schumer, Christine Gillibrand. You know, basically a waste of time. Basically a, a toilet bowl full of you know what, yeah. Uh, th that is absolutely correct. And every issue that is pending with them is just like a wasted phone call for me when I do that. And um, uh, my qu quick question is this. I... Uh, I see the end of the internet freedom coming as we speak. Oh, and, yeah. Um, what, what I'd like to George do... George Soros is, wants this show, the Drudge Report, shut down on record, and now he funded this. What does that tell you? Well, uh, George Soros, the character himself, I used to admire him. I was going for my MBA in banking and financing when he wrote books like uh, uh, Being Ahead of the Curve. Uh, how naive I was at that time. Well, we anyway, were all naive uh, once, brother, so don't feel bad. Just, just, just your, your man to admit it. Yeah, indeed. In fact, uh, you know, he's a just total tool joke. And but nobody knew he was a Nazi collaborator. That didn't come out to the late nineties, and then he came out and admitted it and said he wasn't sorry. Well, he's probably good friends with uh, what's his name, uh, Prince Bernhard of the Phil the Bilderbergers. Oh yeah. So that's probably the reason behind that. Anyway, uh, I'm looking ahead. I see right now the lull, the calm before the storm, before they start tampering with the internet as we know. I agree. So the question is, why are they lining it all up now? Go ahead. No, actually, it's a meta question. Uh, that, yes, uh, but one more. I do remember when uh, Mayor Bloomberg was running for mayor, they actually handed out radios to anyone for free with the Bloomberg radio station that was just up for him during the election time. So you would turn it on, it would be one station, it was a Bloomberg station, and you'd listen to Bloomberg crap. And then you can go vote for Bloomberg. I remember uh, that. My my idea is this. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure other people are thinking about it, too. Having an alternative Internet, maybe an underground Internet on a, on a different frequency or a different something or other that might and be allowed. We to should be launch our own Manhattan Project that's public where everyone races to build alternatives for when their censorship comes in. And then we'll have the jump on them. Absolutely. Plus, the Internet was designed so it's hard to shut down. If we use alternative systems, and then that will basically... And don't ever use Internet, too. That's their new fake Internet. Once they have that, that's when they'll try to kill the real web. Stay with us, folks. Great call, Joe. Philip, Dave, and others, you're straight ahead. Then I wasn't even aware that Jakari had covered the gun issue. I mean, I knew he covered it with Cargill, but I didn't hear the whole interview. Full-body transplants will be possible within two years, says controversial surgeon.
The Italian believes the technique could save the lives, and he is a top surgeon, of people riddled with cancer whose nerves and muscles have wasted away, but then there'll be a huge market in getting bodies. The world's first full body transplant in which someone's head would be sewn into the donor body could take place in just two years, according to a controversial surgeon. We'll cover this more. Right now, let's go to your calls. Philip and then Dave. Philip, you're on the air from Virginia. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, in the run-up to this uh, tyrannical uh, maneuver by the FCC, uh, so-called net neutrality, I thought I heard, uh, I didn't read it, but I thought I heard a, uh, some information come out about this, uh, basically uh, that the White House was uh, – Consulting with the communist Chinese. Yeah, sir. That was in uh, AP Reuters, uh, London Guardian. The White House and Zuckerberg uh, brought him there. They met with the Chinese internet censorship czar, and he endorsed Chinese censorship while putting out the uh, I'm Charlie uh, Ebdo thing. So I love free speech. I want to take your free speech, and my users are dumb effers. And yes, I mean, it was in the news yesterday. This is Chinese style net censorship. But again, they're just going to protect the Internet. People go, but they say they're going to protect it. And they said they were going to give you free health care. And they weren't going to come after your guns. And raising the debt limit didn't raise the debt limit. They're a pack of liars. And now they won't release the provisions. Can you imagine what's in them? They want to pair it for weeks, how wonderful it is, and how great it is, and how it gives you free lollipops and tucks you in at night. And then when it finally comes out, it's going to be a nightmare like Obamacare. Just watch. All right, man. Well, I appreciate that uh, because uh, it's not an urban legend, and that is confirmed. No, it's not. The way to find it is Zuckerberg uh, meets with Chinese uh, Internet head or, or censor head, and then you'll read, and met with White House officials. And you're like, that, 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 that psycho sound. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. I mean, it's like, alert. Uh, this is serious. And again, it's every week now some new nightmare. What's coming next? It's like we're going down the roller coaster here, into the abyss. Dave in Canada, last caller. Sorry to John and Josh and Gene. I'm just out of time. Go ahead, Dave. You'll be our tail gunner. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Good, brother. Yeah, um, I'd just like to uh, bring this to your attention here. We've got our old pal Bill Gates. He's been up in Canada yesterday, and he's meeting with Stephen Harper and the other two uh, leaders of our uh, opposition parties. Yes. And it's all to do with the UN's dev Millennium Development that's uh, set to be implemented this fall, plus there's new guidelines to be set. Yep. And, uh, this it's is all, all Agenda 21 involved. Global Governance Treaty, yep. It's all going to. It's all about improved data collection and vital statistics. Uh, keeping track of everybody. If this doesn't tie into population uh, agenda, I don't know what does. Oh, they're, they're getting everybody and, on a standardized system, just like every car producer in the world, except yeah, for and, some and some some Eastern point. European country I read about. Every car producer in the world has boxes to tax you in them now. It's all unified continuity of agenda. I wonder how this ties into Codex Elementarius as well. You all know, of it. You, it does. When they, when they can surveil everything, they can control it and cut it off. And after this, Harper comes out on the news and he says, for God's sake, we have a responsibility to set an example. It's all right. Medical interventions work and we have to do this. I see legislation coming down the pipe here. It's all over the news. That's it, brother. Absolutely. God bless you. Sorry to everybody else. We're out of time. Great job, crew. Nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock central, prisonplanet.tv. And Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow live. But don't count InfoWars always to be here. This is I've been warning everybody forever. They're coming after all your freedoms. Stand with us. Promote us while you still can. Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show.
Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want?